Uh, let us begin session five. The party continued their pursuit of worm speaker Varam the White into the tunnels beneath the tomb of Dedarius. The Yuan Tai had made their home there, and they quickly met strong resistance. Epic battles followed, involving the people of the snake, strange snake animated armors, and spellcasters who effectively turned Ragnar into a novelty party balloon. <laughs> Finally, they battled through to the Yuan Tai Temple, where they found the dwarf Varam about to be sacrificed on the altar of the Yuan Tai. A fight began and the priestess was defeated, though Varam was unfortunately slain in the process. <clears throat> If he had learned the location of the White Dragon Mask in the Divination Pool of Dedarius, that knowledge was now surely lost. After resting in a secret tunnel that led out of the tomb, the party eventually emerged into the dawn's light to find a huge white dragon, ridden by Ignatius' sister, Lady Talis, waiting for them. So, brother, we meet again. We had a deal. Okay, can I uh, just get some uh, information check? Is the dragon in the air with her on the back? Is it on the it's, ground? Is she standing I, next to it? I, I will make an adjustment. It is hovering at about 20 feet in the air. Uh, let me okay. see if I can... Uh, and how and high she, is that cliff? She's on her. the back of it. The cliff is about 15 feet high. Okay. Ah! Lady Taris, how are you? Slowly walk I, forward. Uh, <clears throat> I have been better. I see your taste in clothing hasn't improved, brother. Well, it's all uh, in the eyes of the beholder, so to speak. And I'm, I must say, um, my deepest condolences, um, my nephew uh, was a, a wonderful lad and I didn't know that where he was standing would be, be his demise and uh, if I could have done anything to stop it I would have done my deepest condolences. You owe me the mask, that was our agreement. Yes. <laughs> Just like a cheap term and conditions, they change. I'll take it now. Hmm. Take it might be the operative word. You can Don't toss you it onto the ground. My features? If you toss it onto the ground, Glazale and I will let you leave. Oh, you'll be letting us leave anyway, dear sister. The dragon looks down at you. Oh, leaving is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> <laughs> you right, see a slight, you dragon. see a, a slight frown cross over Talus's face. She mutters something you can't quite hear to the dragon. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I tell you what, brother. I will give you 30 seconds to remove the mask and lay it on the ground, and you may leave. I don't know. Isn't that right? I think I think we should I think we should have a jump in another chat room and have a private party chat so the GM can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he'll know whatever's going on. <laughs> Just because I know doesn't mean the uh, Talis knows. How do you want to play this, boys? <laughs> I lean into Ragnar. Fancy a little trick? Why not, sir? Yeah, oh, I God. agree. Hold well, on, before you do more. anything. Uh, uh, hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dre is going to... Not as good. Sorry, do my best. Okay. You feel a sudden light <laughs> and warmth flow over you as Dre casts Bless on you all. Okay. 
Did you hear what I whispered to Ragnar? No, didn't see it. Uh, it's not a whisper. Whisper. It was in. I leant over to him and said, "Fancy a little." Trip? Oh yes, I did. Yes. And he said yes, and I said, "Ah, oh, wonderful." Dimension door. Okay. Ragnar and I will disappear <clears> and appear <throat> on the back of the white dragon behind Lady Talus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have at it, Ragnar. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a point of inspiration for that. <laughs> um, and as it happens, I would ask you all to uh, let me just to uh, roll initiative if you're going to attack. Yeah. We're not just out riding bikes, Oops. you know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is really going to depend on this, mate. Come on, Ragnar. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! It's all gone wrong! We've fucked it! Uh, hold on, I need to roll initiative for Dre, don't It's all I? gone very, very wrong! <laughs> Here's a nice idea. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Dre rolled a four. Okay. Oh dear. No. Uh, Mered, um, you see. Uh, Ragnar, a brief flash of purple light open in front of Ignatius. He grabs Ragnar by one of his spikes and leaps forwards through a sudden crack that opens and closes behind him with a purple flash. <laughs> and he appears on on top of the dragon. Where'd they go, Miss Talis? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just like look around me and go, oh well. And I'll point at the dragon and go, squawk. And try to cast polymorph on him and try and turn him into a chicken. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, what's the, what's the range on polymorph? Uh, oh, it might not be in range. Oh, no, it's not in range. So I can't bollocks. Oh, no, I can't. Fuck. Lovely idea, though. I can't even get close to Nice him. idea, yeah. Yeah, that would have been good, wouldn't it? He might be close Shit. to you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll put that spell up. I'll take that spell up. <laughs> I will <clears throat> in which case I will find it. I'll just uh, move up. Hold on, let me just adjust you. Right. You're both twenty feet up. Oops, there we go. So you're moving to that. Are you doing anything else? Uh yeah, I'm gonna cast Thank you, baby. Um, yeah, yeah. you need your spells though, so I can't cast hmm? Can't cast um it's I'm going to cast uh, Mirror Image. Okay. Uh, level 2. Alright, um, if you can target yourself and click the effect so that you get the concentration oh, yeah, 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 effect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no... Oh, is there not? There's no, no, no. Okay. It's, no con it's not concentration either. It's just okay. lasts for a minute. Okay. Okay, Ragnar. You, you find yourself... You're, uh, in a brief flash, your entire worldview changes, and in front of you is Lady Talis, sat astride uh, the this, the beating wings of this huge dragon. <clears throat> right, I'm going to. Um, is it my go? Is it on the combat? Yeah, it's your go. All oh, right, yeah. I, uh, I am going to. I'm, I'm going to grapple her and take her off the dragon. And we're, okay. We're, we're going to be. We're going to be taking some falling damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See if you can uh, take it, <laughs> make uh, a uh, make a strength check, please. Come on, please. Come on, come please, on. <laughs> please. Come on. Please. We're all angry for you. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm punching I'm the air here. Just in case I get a natural twenty. <laughs> Oh, yes. I got an 11. When it matters, baby. Okay. Always when it matters. You, you wrap your arms around Talis, heave her up out of the saddle, and then are you going to throw yourself off to the yeah, side? we're leap, leaping off the dragon. She's taking four, and I'm going to use her as a cushion. Enjoy the spike oh, on. Hold on, <clears> hold on. <throat> Let me zoom in on the map. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no! What are you doing, Ignatius? And you fly, you 
suddenly heave her up off the dragon and plummet towards the ground. And uh, I would like another strength check, please. Um, uh, okay. Uh, and you float slowly down to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm obviously going to let go of her. Okay. All right. That, that was uh, sorry. That uh, that was the plan because I knew I wouldn't take the falling damage. Okay. Because <laughs> once I've got her out of the seat, mate, I'm just gonna. Okay, she does off. take two d six damage. You can roll it if you want. Oh, slash die two d six. Falling damage changed. I thought it was more brutal than that. No, two d six per ten feet. It's a d six per ten feet. All right. Four. And a six. Ten. Nice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I should have ripped, she crashes into the, the ground. Um, like, she is prone. Okay. That, like, that's my full action. I can't do anything else. Can I rage? Uh, you can... Mm, not this <laughs> round. Because you, okay. you, you grappled her as an action and then your <laughs> bonus, you kind of pulled her off the dragon. <clears throat> okay. No! That's not fair! <laughs> uh, it's going to turn. And. Oh, let me have a, th a little bit of a think here. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, oh, right, baby, baby, I'm absolutely stuffed. I'm absolutely stuffed, baby, thank you. Do, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to. Kill everybody. Talis screams out. Get them, Glazelle! The dragon, with a mighty beat of its wings, races forwards. Uh, let me just see. To here. <coughs> with Ignatius grimly holding on to the back. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Ignatius. As the dragon suddenly lurches with a huge amount of momentum and acceleration. Okay, yeah, you managed to hold on, barely. Uh, Alright, let's have a look if this is going to reach. Shit, he saw the line. So, I can't see, it doesn't say... Uh, turn 20, oh, It's the wrong way around, I should be fighting the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't quite get Dre. <laughs> okay, uh, it's going to target uh, Mered in that case. Hmm... Fuck. <laughs> um, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you make your save, Mered. Yeah, you're gonna want to make this save. You saved it. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh. Oh well, only twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> A huge jet of ice cold icicles springs from the dragon's mouth as it breathes. Uh, frost all over you. You feel yourself start to freeze up. Um, the pain is incredible. Um, it, you can't see as this big blast knocks you at, almost to your f knees um, and then it disperses. Um, then it is going to turn its head round, glares at Ignatius and one thing I did forget, um, but we can do it now, is can everybody make Dragon a uh, <coughs> no? It doesn't have fearful presence. This one. <laughs> uh, okay, it's going to try and bite Ignatius off his back. Get off me back! I'm immune to the dragon fear anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's going to try and bite you. Oh, this is going wrong. It misses. Warrior on the, spell. Warrior on the spellcaster and the caster's on the dragon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Um, it's, what's its movement? 80. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's then going to fly straight up. Whoosh. Another 30 feet. Uh, 
Uh, and as it does so, it spins around in the air, um, trying to dislodge you. Can you make uh, another dexterity saving throw, please, Ignatius? <coughs> Okay, you just managed to hang on. As it's going up vertically, you're hanging off the back of the saddle of the dragon. It's <laughs> spinning round and round as it climbs. Um, you're spinning round with it. The world's twirling around you. It's difficult to get your bearings. You're holding on grimly, though. Um, it, it's your turn, Ignatius. Okay. <laughs> I'm raged on lies and you're surprised when I'm deceitful. Fireball! At the dragon's head. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just check. Does Fireball require a somatic I'm component? I'm like fire and ice, baby. <laughs> oh, you're casting it from your uh, from your staff, I presume. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, in that case, it doesn't. Fireball What's the, the CR of a head. level 8 PC? Yeah, for Polymorph. If I could Polymorph a player, like, what can I Polymorph them into? Oh, um... That's a good question. I th I need to check on a calculator. Just so it looks like I'm clicking the stuff of fire a lot because it uses three charges. So okay, and who are you doing that at? At the dragon. A dragon. The dragon's head. Okay. Okay. A <clears throat> um, just need to cast it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if it makes it save. Hopefully it won't because it's fire. I want to turn Ragnar into a white dragon so he can go after the <laughs> <gasps> You fail! Oh dear, okay, roll the damage. Ooh, sixes. Some. Nice. I'm going to re roll the 1 1. Right. <clears throat> Let me just click off my font of magic. Only another 2,307 to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's the same. Could be all the difference. Okay. Um, you're oh, grimly holding oh. on with one hand. You summon what? the power into your staff, whack the dragon with it, um, a huge ball of flame bursts out. It screams in agony, um, continuing its climb as it does so. Are you going to do anything else? Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what's <clears throat> Dre going to do. Um, Dre is going to uh, he's going to what's he going to do what's he going to do he is going to I forgot to take off his spell earlier let me do that now he is going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on Mered. <laughs> wow, thank you. Uh, let me just double check the range. Yeah, you're in range. Uh, so, Dre is on target. Ragnar and uh, Ignatius. Oh, it helps if I press the right key, doesn't it? Try again. Uh, am I blessed? Did you are blessed. Yeah, Dre blessed you. Uh, okay, Shield of Faith. There you go. Mm hmm. Yes, you do. Uh, and he's then gonna run uh, towards Ragnar. Two, three, four, five. He six. needs to blast that dragon man with Eldritch. Uh, okay, Talis. Uh, <coughs> first thing she's gonna do is get up. Um. Let me take the prone off her. Nah, I don't want to do that. Um, she is then going to. Why, oh, sweetheart? <laughs> she uh, glares at you and. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, pretty much. 
Alright, let me just check this. Spell. I don't know if she was I thought she'd take more falling damage, I would have actually attacked her. <laughs> yeah. Get your hands off me, you filthy dwarf! She points at you, you hear a strange buzzing noise in your it ears. It. Yeah, it was a bit, wasn't it? <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag dwarf life smash yeah. <laughs> Um, you hear a sudden buzzing noise and crawling up out of the ground all these cockroaches and ants suddenly appear and then up behind you from behind the cliff this huge yes. swarm of wasps appears <gasps> and starts zooming you. in around you uh, I've had worse <laughs> trust me <laughs> you haven't got you haven't got a jam sandwich in your pocket you can throw down <laughs> that yeah. Uh, <coughs> and start stinging you. Let's see what happens. You made the save. Ow! But it still hurts. They managed to get into all the cracks in your armour. <coughs> um, she is then going to... Mm, with fuck boys. <laughs> nah. <laughs> ah, that's all she can only cast for spell a turn. Ooh. Oh, yes. Uh, she's then going to try and stab you with her spear, Ragnar. I think she's a druid or a cleric. Yeah. Uh, uh, insect swarm. Here we go. Did but she, she misses. A... Okay. And with so, that, we're back to Mered. Ragnar doesn't get an attack of opportunity at her, does he, while she's no. casting it? No. no he should. So, Mered, you stand up, brush the icicles off <laughs> your armour. Uh, it, every movement hurts. You glare up at the dragon. What are you going to do? Wanker. Oh fuck, no, that's not the... Hang on, we bring it back five. So to rush over towards Ragnar, that's going to... Yeah. What's your movement? Oh, uh, 25, so I move me, I move myself forward accidentally 30, so and then, then I move myself back five. Okay. Okay, so that's 25. Oh, okay. So I'm, I think it's got to be time to take out the spellcaster, isn't it? I will cast... It's like... Hush your mouth, lead it, and I will catch uh, silence. Oh, nice one, Dave. Around her, okay. It's a twenty-foot radius spear. Okay. Let me just check one thing. Uh... <coughs> Uh, nice to fuck. Ten so, minutes. Okay, so <clears> another <throat> twenty foot radius. Twenty foot radius. Wow. Okay. Uh, and where are you casting it? So just so um, it hits her, so it gets Ragnar as well. <clears throat> it's the center is gonna. Yeah. Be... Be careful, because oh, I don't know. Can I? Can I rage with in silence? Okay, yes. Can't I? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So it's like four. It'll probably make you even more angry. <laughs> <laughs> I I think the uh, east west two try put in the centre two squares west of Ragnar. There. Just to the left of your your T on twenty feet for the insects wall. There. It's not moving. Uh, stick it directly on her. Stick it directly on her, mate. If she steps back, she's. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll stick it. Stick yeah, it stick, on stick yeah. it right in the middle of her, mate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's cool. The <clears> buzzing <throat> noise from the insects suddenly dies away, Ragnar. Though the pain of the thousand stings doesn't. Oh, what she has to maintain it, does she? With concentration. She's got a concentration. Yeah, but it's still it's, it, that that silence spell hasn't affected the concentration. So no, he needs to damage her. Uh, so I'm just going to pivot round and move out of her. Move out of it. That's it. It's me done. As long as I don't do base to base with her, she won't get an attack of opportunity. So. Uh, and twat the, twat the shit out of her. 
basically, yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> Unleash uh, my friend. This, this, for... <laughs> this is for Raynard. <laughs> 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 I told him I had to meet her neck. <laughs> you did indeed. That is me done. That's you done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're dealing with a Mark 50 foot in the air. Yeah, and I'm screaming as this thing's <laughs> spiralling up into the air. <laughs> I'm not that scared, I've got a pin. And I've got a pin to Ragnar. <laughs> I will pivot. Mm -hmm. Perrier, Perrier, Perrier! Mm -hmm. In fact, no, sorry, I will pivot mm -hmm. to there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> sorry, I will pivot to there. Yeah. <laughs> he's just. He's. Parry, Rapus! Parry, Rapus! I will now rage. Very silent, angry dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> you just see his lips moving. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it the silent treatment. Uh, let's be rage, and I will drop reckless attack on as well. And I'm gonna, not gonna, because I reckon she's got. Is she wearing a lot of armor, Neil? Um. Um. Good question. She You've is. Black... She's wearing some scale mail. Right, then I shall read a <clears throat> conventional... You've got Bless on as well, so that's an extra D4 to hit. Yeah, I'll just... I'll yeah, just but you one. really want to definitely hit her. Any damage to disrupt the concentration and shit. So. And shit. A 31 to hit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Okay. I think, a, uh, I think I might give her a great weapon tickle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You haven't got a targeted, have you? So what was that? Oh, 14. No, Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. 31 still hits. I've put the damage on for you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll give her a great weapon. Or shall I? No, I'll stick with conventional. <clears throat> well, if... Just as well. Yeah, mm. another hit. That would have missed. There we go, that's me. Oh, I'm finished. Wow, okay. Oh dear. Okay, Glacial's breath weapon recharges. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he then turns around, makes a steep dive. Ignatius, I would like you to make a dexterity check, please. Dexterity save, sorry. Um, not sorry. Athletic save, sorry, mate. Athletics? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's pulling out all the fucking stops. Shit, oh, the obscure skills. Nice. Okay, yeah, you just hold on. You're spinning round, heading up. You can just see the sky circling around. <laughs> all of a sudden, the whole world tilts upside down. You now see the ground spinning around as Gazelle takes a huge dive. Beautiful. Um, one. Two. I feel the need. Oh, me <laughs> you me. Nope. I'm just a little half, and you don't want to hurt me. <laughs> yeah, she's just hanging on to a dragon for grim death. Mary's running around trying to dodge six, dragon breath. Seven, <laughs> nine. Sorry, Barred. Uh. Oh yeah, I bet you come over here. Mm-hmm. Don't like him here uh, and his lady. As Ignatius is flying down, obviously holding on for grim death, it grabs Talis with its claws, um, picks her up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and carries her to there alongside Ignatius. <coughs> Uh, starting to climb again as it does so. So that was eight, so I can go up to thirty. Has he escaped the insects? Yeah, it's not good, it? May I have an attack of opportunity, please, Neil? Oh. Uh, you may have an attack of opportunity, just let me sort out the height. <laughs> Which Sorry. I, I can't do, for some reason I'll have to move him out of the way. I'll do it. Say it like, bitch. <coughs> just move them, put him back. Now, do I do it on the dragon or her? 
do it on you can do it. Um, yeah, you only get one reaction around, so you have to pick whether you're doing the dragon or yeah, her. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it on her. Okay. No chance of doing that. Yeah, hits. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that hurts. She looks rough. Um, the dragon then spins round. Barrel roll. <laughs> uh, um, <coughs> yes, that's going to hit. I'll just move to delete that. Hold on. Ring of protection from cold, anybody? Ragnar <laughs> <laughs> uh, doing a Kylo Ren when the Millennium Falcon is <laughs> 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 fucking trying to take off when he's saying. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. Targets Ragnar, opens its mouth and breathes! Holotos! Oh, you rolled 19 for your save, nice. Shit. And and I've got cold resist. Yeah. And I'm raged. Oh, I tickled. <laughs> <laughs> I so you got, dragon. <laughs> it was it, she would have done 44 damage. It was reduced to 22, and then reduced again. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, Ignatius, you're up. Sister. <laughs> Okay, so... <laughs> I'm, how high are we in the air? 35 feet. Okay, you're 35 I'm feet gonna... above the ground <clears throat> where you are. You're um, 20 feet above the ground where uh, Ragnar is. Okay. Alrighty. So, I'm going to throw myself backwards off mm -hmm. the okay. uh, dragon. Yeah. Trusting that the pin is going to work. It does. As I fall, For a moment, I'm your heart's in. in your mouth as you seem to plummet, <laughs> and then it just catches you, and you start to throw myself down. backwards off it. And yeah. as I do, I'm going to cast another fireball but at uh, both of them. This time. It, okay. It, it, it's the quake backflip, Gib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Make sure you got them both targeted. Let me tick them off. Uh, right. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. uh, got them both targeted. Yes. Um. Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disco inferno! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to roll. One, two, three... I'm going to roll the three twos again. Let me tick off my quantum magic. Okay. <clears throat> oh, lordy, lordy. Dragon hordy. So an extra six. Okay. So as you fall down, you point your staff at them again. And unleash another a beam of light. A bead of light flies from the end of the staff towards them and then explodes and a huge ball of fire. No! Talis starts to burn. The dragon screams in agony. And Trey... Oh, felt like really hurt and shit. ...is gonna walk up to <laughs> Mered and lay on hands. Neil wants to keep his dragon alive. <laughs> No, oh, I'm you. just using Dre in a more defensive style yeah, because he's yeah. not here. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> fair enough. Uh, so, uh, where is it? Oh, thanks, My own hands. He's gonna heal you for fifteen uh, hit points. Like it. Ah. Okay. Talis is not good. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, where's the... She's not dead yet. Oh, she's dying. Mm -mm. She's dying, yeah. She's got to make a saving throw. This should be a way to mate it. I've said it before, but nobody listens. Do not mistake me for some cheap conjurer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see if she makes it. She needs a ten or higher. 
Yes, oh, she made it. Okay. What, is, what was that? A death save? Yep. Oh god, she's not in there. Marad, you're up. <coughs> okay, uh... Well, level one evocation... Like dragon turtle, cook its ass. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I've... Oh no. Uh, the uh, the the swarm disappears. Of course it does. Mhm. Mm Not my silence, but it doesn't really matter. No. Well, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna move to there. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> Target Glazeal. Okay. And at third level. What? Yeah. What's the range on what you're doing? 120. Okay, yeah, I should be okay. Right it. I will cast a guiding bolt at Glazeal. Let's say. Yeah. You get off him! And uh, zap him. I need to make a range spell attack. Okay. That so oh yeah so it's uh, just the attack button uh, oh is it the cast button is it the cast or the attack button it's um it's a range it's a spell attack isn't it so click the attack yeah. buttons if it hits oh for God's sake okay. <laughs> as the guiding bolt whizzes up towards the dragon it does uh, it kind of tilts in the air slightly and it passes under one of its wings and disappears off into the sky it was going to be amaze balls. That's it. Okay. I just, I just stare at my finger, really disappointed. Ragnar. I will move to the edge of the ledge. Mm -hmm. Grab a javelin from my uh, oh, holster. I can kill a weapon. Yeah. And launch it with the power of Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why it's rolling two dice. It's um, out of range. Because it's out of range, right. you get a disadvantage. What, 25 feet? Yeah, but it's also 35 feet up in the air. Oh, okay. It automatically calculates the diagonal range. Oh, all right, okay. I'll uh, grab another one. So I thought Reckless, it was trying to count Reckless attack because I don't get it on Javelins. No, you haven't got Reckless on. Okay, I'll watch another one. Ah! Sorry, boy, just, <laughs> just flinging up javelins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glazale. Oh, are you doing anything else, Rich? I, think. I can't. Hey, that's me. That's me. Thank you. Uh, he's going <coughs> to look back over its shoulder at you. Oh, it could. I don't want to. It could. Let's Change his mind. <laughs> ah, it's cold breath didn't regenerate that round. So yes. it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Got my dad here, you beastie. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll go fucking it, yeah. <laughs> Sixteen. And it also, as it does so, climbs. Oh, he's off. Uh, Tail between his legs. Carrying the body. I can't move the... Uh, hold on. Can I move the... Oh! There you go. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just, uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to fucking shoot her. <laughs> um, Ignatius. Okay. I'm going to run forward. Okay, so you you're going down to the yeah you float down to the ground yeah yeah hang on one second um okay and I'm gonna fireball them again okay <laughs> you guys still got some charges left on that thing yeah hang on let me select her as well oh I can't I can select her as well you do it on the uh, let me just mark them off. I can't. I've got at least one charge left, so I'm not going to use it for anything else because obviously I don't want to completely negate it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> fireball cast. 
Okay, she uh, also fails a death saving throw, so she's made one and failed one now. Ooh. Okay, uh, another fireball. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the one and two again. Okay. Bring it down. <laughs> Where's an AA gun when you fucking need one? <laughs> so an extra, so an extra uh, four. four. Yeah. Okay. The blast Critical. sort of staggers it in the air and it drops slightly and then picks itself up, trailing smoke behind it as it goes. Uh, Dre isn't going to do anything. Married? Okay. We've got 25 to there. Right. No, should I shoot the dragon? Is it? I mean, is about ten damage going to plink on the dragon and take it down, or should I try and shoot her and get her to, to finish do another failing death save? She, she's she's got a man. She's got miles to go through the air, so she's got plenty of chances to die. I think we should go for the uh, dragon. Yeah, unless the, dra unless the dragon can administer ma medical attention to her, and I don't believe it'll have any clerical. Oh, healing. one twenty feet. Guide it's good. It's guiding. It's guiding bolt. It's going to be second level slot. Ticked it off. Guiding bolt. Ah, right, this time. Oh, for God's sake! Another time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, two twos in a row. He's ducking and diving through the air. Difficult no, to hit. I just quite uh, fucking. That finger's getting locked off. <laughs> Ragnar, Ragnar looks at Meryn and raises an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just shove my shoulders and hold my hands out. And, oh, what can I say? Are you, uh, are you done, Meryn? I'm done, yeah, yeah. Ragnar? Fuck. What the fuck can I do? <laughs> I was like 11d6 damage missed. That uh, how steep's the cliff? Um, It's almost vertical. It's a 15 foot drop. Yeah. I can't do fuck all unless the dragon comes back. Okay. I'm going to reposition my. S I am, no, am going to delay my action in case the dragon turns around and comes back. And I will have a javelin at the ready. Okay. Okay. Glacial. One, two, three, four. Is he waiting for his breath? Is that. <clears throat> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. My mistress! No! Holy crap, the rain! Yeah, it's well. bad, is it? Yeah, it's like someone's turned a bucket upside down. Okay, Glazale, with a slight wobble in its flight, trailing clouds of soot, bits of ash falling from it. Uh, continues to climb and fly away. Where are the griffins? Are the they're griffins on, on the ground, they're off the map to the west. Could we realistically yeah. get to the griffins and catch them? Because griffins are fast, <clears throat> aren't they? Probably not. Okay. Oh, if only we'd left the harpers pin with the griffin riders, we could have told them. Shit. Shit. Ignatius. <clears throat> it's not showing me how far, even though I'm targeting him, it's not showing him how far away he is from me. Uh, 160 feet. Okay. Um, yeah, you have to move 40 to get to 120, which is a spell range, but... He's got a 100 foot on his ice bolt, do not he? Hmm, 120's, 120's <coughs> spell range, that's, that's the highest spell range I've got, so you'd have to move 40, which you can't do as a human. I am Ignatius, you will not run from me, <laughs> Dimension Door! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Onto its back back again. You're going Onto what? its back again. Onto its back again? Onto its... Yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As a suddenly tear appears in the fabric of the universe with a purple light in front of you, you step through it, 
you appear on the back of the dragon again. <laughs> yeah. We'll just give him a woo! Hey, go, Ignatius! <laughs> and then I'll look at Mary and go, what's he doing? <laughs> right, that's okay. crazy mage! That's me. I thought I can't do anything else that turn. Mm. Let me mark it off. I have. Okay. Trey is going to run up to the, towards the edge of the cliff. Three, four, five, I could join six. you more, but I'll just get I'll just get twatted by it. Where are they going? Oh. Yeah. Uh Talis, right. I've got roll D twenty for her. Can you can you not dimension okay. door me onto the back of that, Dave? I need well, to be within five foot of you. Oh, oh shit, Rich. Good point, mate. That's okay. Fair. Mered. Oh, here goes! <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's fucking do it! Leave <laughs> it! Yank it! I grab hold of Ragnar. <laughs> hold his awesome. hand like a little child <laughs> and cast Dimension Door. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can do that with Ragnar, can't you? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I can drag another one. Yeah. I, I hit on the back of the <laughs> 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 purple. Oh, he's like an annoying little terrier. <laughs> <laughs> the purple rent appears in the in the in the air before you. You grab Ragnar, leap through it, and before you know it, you are also on the back. <laughs> of a, a dragon. Morning, chaps. <laughs> Didn't think you were going to have all the fun, did you, Ignatius? <laughs> uh, are you doing anything else, Ignatius? Uh, I'm not. No, I'm married. <laughs> no, Ed, sorry. So, am I just overexcited? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, Ragnar, uh, can you make uh, an athletics check, please? Oh, you bastard. Can I attack first? <laughs> uh, skills. You should be able to make it with your strength. Oh I, oh, I am blessed as well, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. you're blessed. That's nice to do four. What's that yeah. about? Okay, you managed to hold on with one hand. And I will... <laughs> but I have a two-handed weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twat. Right, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna cut this thing's fucking head off. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was right well. Okay. It's like uh, in the movies where they run up the back of the dragon and smash it in there. <laughs> Reckless attack is on, I think. It is, yeah. Oh, right, it's gonna, it's gonna have a high armor class, so I'm not even gonna bother with a great weapon attack. Mm. Um, mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you start oh, hacking into it, in, digging into the scales on its back. It screams in agony as it does say. So. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got it targeted again, Rich. Um, so oh, how much damage probably, is that? Mate. Both would have hit. So that's 26. 26. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the headbutt. Yeah. It starts to dip and lose height slightly. Oh, uh, it's got really the, low on. The things bite into it. Oh! And as you, with one oh, final oh, angry, <laughs> guttural roar of rage, you headbutt it in the back of the head. Your helmet sticks into the back of its skull. In fact, you're there, braced onto it, trying to pull your head off, and it's just stuck in the back of this dragon's skull. So the dragon starts to plummet to the ground, leaving a trail of smoke behind it. Um, make a strength check, see if you can pull your head free. <laughs> Crashing with this dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Okay, with the last effort, gargantuan effort, you managed to pull your head back. The horn slides out, covered in gore. The dragon's eyes roll up into the back of its head. It's plummeting to the ground at high speed, with you three on the oh, back of it. Shit. I think this would be a good time to let go. <laughs> uh, I take it you all jump off. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah I'm gonna, gonna jump off, but I'm gonna try and grab Talus on my way down. Okay, uh, make uh, an attack roll at disadvantage. 
Okay, I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay, so that'll, yeah. Cancels out the disadvantage. It does, yeah. so use it, yeah, it does. So just roll normal attack roll. Um, how do I do that? Roll I've d20, never had to make it. add your um, strength modifier. Good job, okay. Dave. Top oh, job, uh, Dave. Uh, make, make, a, make, make an Thanks. athletics check. <laughs> That was a Hail Mary, mate. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, you do. You grab her. As you leap <clears throat> off, you manage to grab her with one hand, wrap your arm around her, and you leap off. As the drag And as you slowly float down, you just see the dragon barrel into the ground, kicking up dust and dirt and stone, sliding through the side of that, what remains of that tower, destroying it. As the I minute that. I land, I call Merit over. You need to heal her, Merit. But she's gonna take a Hold on, hold on. She's got to make another death saving throw. Ragnar just okay. Just <laughs> around with his with his arm his arms out like that's how we fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of an epic. Um, Merit, help me. She's help made me. two and she's failed two. Okay, she can be a, she can be a prisoner while Tyre and Gaga. I'm floating down. I go, all right, mate, but we, we've got to talk about what we're going to do with her. We're this going to take going her to back really to the council and pissed. they can decide. No, it's a good idea. I'm going to take her back to the council as a prisoner. <laughs> they will welcome her. a worm speaker prisoner. I'm going to touch her mm -hmm. and cast Bear the Dying on her. Okay. So that bring it to zero or one? When you touch a living creature that has zero hit points, the creature becomes stable. Okay. Let me, uh, stay <clears throat> me Well, cheated death. I had the last laugh on death here. Thank you, Mero. She's yeah. going to be much better for the council as a prisoner. Maybe some sort of bargaining power, if need be. Let me, uh... Uh, I'm going to have to put on one hit point sister. just for the purposes of getting her on back on the right level. Although, if, right. if ever we wanted to have a sacrifice for that pool to find out where the uh, white mask was... Mered, thank you what? for your help. We are not sacrificing my sister. We will take her to the council <laughs> as prisoner. Yeah, I'm just saying. We need a sacrifice. <laughs> Smile at you. <laughs> You're such a wonderful companion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was good, though, wasn't it? Kicked ass. We work well together. Poor Dre is sat on his own on the... We better go back and see Dre. When you look over, you can see him jogging up. I, that was I really, impressive. I really don't think we can pass that opportunity to use that pool to find out where the mask is. This could be our last chance of find last chance of finding out where the mask is. The right. mask will end up in the hands of the dragon cult, and we will meet it again. We will get another chance to get it. They'll have it again by now, and the best place to look for that is in the icy north. But if we can find a creature or a, I'm chuck it in that pool or whatever, we could find out immediately where the white dragon it's, mask is. It's what's behind. The, the thought of a sacrifice. We can't sacrifice anything. We're better than that, Mered. But it's for it's. If we're killing stuff to defend ourselves, but to kill something to find out information, that's just it doesn't sit right with me. I'll do it if you. I understand what you're saying. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but mate, if you don't want to do it. If you want somebody else to do it, get their hands dirty, I'm willing to step up and be that guy. I just think, why, another, we've got two masks in our possession. Yeah, we've got a speaker. A live speaker, that's good, but if we also turn up with the location of that white mask, maybe we could ask the council for an upgrade to our little mansion. That's just real estate. I'm not willing to look. I'll go back and and 
I'll carry Talus back to the Griffins, and we can come and meet you at the entrance. But I'm not going to be part of any sacrifice. I can't right. do it. Okay, Ragnar, you like killing things. Uh, Ragnar's busy cutting the dragon teeth out of the mouth <laughs> of the dragon at the and, ma- and making a new necklace <laughs> or another one to add. Yeah, that's gross. Okay, monster hunter, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, take his, I'll take his claws as well. Hey, Ignatius, are, like dragons, because they're like really magical. Are there any of these like bones, teeth, or claws which could be useful for spells and stuff? Uh, can you make a nature check, please, uh, Ragnar? Yes. I'm asking Ignatius if he's like with his arcana, whether they could check mm-hmm. if there was any spells that require. None of mine. Uh, no, not very good. I use my innate okay. powers. You manage to get the teeth, but you you can't get the claws. Okay, that's fine. Them. I'm ha- I'm happy with the claws. Her teeth. I use my innate powers, but good thinking. Mm. You don't see one of these carved into pieces every day. <sighs> I don't suppose it'd be uh, worth our while asking if the demons, if the, one of those demons, if they jumped in the pool for us. <laughs> We need to bring the drag the griffin flyers back so they can witness what we've done as well to report back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, AFK guys, just go for a wee. Okay. I really want to. I really want to have a look at that pool again. Are there any goblins around? You don't mind <laughs> killing goblins. Where, whereabouts are the griffin speakers? How far from here? Um, the they're a few hundred <laughs> yards <griffin>. away. <laughs> I'll go, and get, I'll go and get them and bring yeah. them over. They probably would have seen half of that. Okay, yeah, There's so... Um, yeah, you go and get uh, Chanel. Bring her back. We've slain a white dragon. Oh, so I see. It's very impressive. We were hiding over there. We weren't sure what to do. Oh, you did the right thing. This lady here is... Uh, she's a worm speaker. She is pure evil. But yet she is my sister. Uh, I believe she'll be a good prisoner. I've bound her and gagged her and blindfolded her. Um, we need to make sure she can uh, be carried back to the council as prisoner. We'll take her with us when we return, certainly. I suppose Do not we could... untie her. No, why would we? Just in case she can be very um, persuasive. She, the the little gnome, her little gnomish face is looking up at you all with a, a kind of half awe, half disbelieving look on her face. Bound, gag, blindfolded. A bit like me. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I suppose you're going to need a bigger dragon, GM. I suppose, though, Ignatius, if we tell the council about this, he's going to mash us next time. I suppose so, Ignatius. If we tell the council about this pool, they might sanction the use of it. Yeah, that's a good point. We can report back now we've made it safe. The bigger question, or a question, is do we go back inside the temple in search of the white dragon mask? At the chance I don't think we should. Might actually be in there. I, I think, think it's long gone, and it's probably back with the cult. I, th- I think those demons, because they were part of the original temple, were to do with the Darius rather than the uh, cult, which is a yeah, very new thing. I agree. And really, the risks might not outweigh the rewards. Well, Plus, time—time well. time is of the essence. We need to. We've got a long way to travel to the northern um, <clears> sea <throat> of moving light. It takes we... a lot of time to get up there. I'm just coming... thinking maybe there's a portal somewhere in that dungeon. Like past the demons. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Well, yeah. haven't the council already said that they've got ways of getting us up north? Yeah, but there was a reason them de- that dwarf told those demons not to let us down that staircase. Mm. But Do I you think. Know what I mean, I mean, I'm I'm happy to leave with the rest of the guys. You know, I'm happy to go. I, I think that's I think that's more of a the way they didn't attack us straight away and just spoke to us. I think that's more of a deceit than a misleading. Yeah. Okay. Ragnar, Ragnar, I think those demons were part of the original complex that has been here for decades, it's centuries, and probably nothing to do with the recent dragon cult. Okay. 
All right. I, I think, think we should get back and report uh, to the worst council. Case, My worst, personal opinion. Worst case scenario is the dragon mask stays in that temple. Oh, I don't think it's there. It? That's the worst case. So no one's got it. So we're, I'm, that's I'm worst at, case we've cleared the temple apart from that one room. We can tell the council about it. They can have troops here within days. Okay. No, that's cool. Like I said, we we there's no threat, isn't it? <clears throat> it's still sort of technically guarded. If it was in there, Be, being a bunch of power, dead. being a bunch of power hungry, uh, greedy bastards, I reckon someone in the council is probably going to come back here and chuck somebody in the pool just to find out where the mask is. Because you know what politicians are like. They may well, but at least we'll not be part of it. They, they might. They might have the arcane knowledge to know how to deal with the pool better than us. That's a True. fair point, Ragnar. And if we're all on the same side, maybe they'll point us in the right direction and to where we do need to be going without risk to our own health, because let's face it, we risk enough. Surely the council will be pleased with our work. One worm speaker killed, one captured, one white dragon dead. Yeah, let's tie this bit. Uh, Dre looks up. I have to get back to the city. Yeah, it's probably okay. a good idea. Uh, you can make... Um... Uh, Sex checks. <laughs> what? Weirdo. Oh my God. You can make an insight <laughs> roll. T Rex. Yeah. Skill. Uh, Ignatius, you notice that Dre is, is biting his lip nervously and shaking slightly. Is everything okay, Dre? Yes, everything's fine. Help with? No, everything's fine. I just need to get back. Then we're heading back anyway. Turn around to the gnome. Sorry, what's her name again? Uh, the one that came up was Chanel. Chanel Windcrease. Chanel, I believe we're ready to saddle up and head back. Um, right, well, let's go and tell the others. We, we'll need to get our package uh, safely tied onto the harnesses. Of course. Let's do it. Have you searched her? She got anything on her? Oh yeah, searcher. That's a good point. Um, she is, she is wearing her armor. Oh, I'll scale. Scale. Um, and you also find a I don't wand. Need armor. Ooh. An almond. A wand. Also, <laughs> is that an almond? <laughs> Anybody mind if I keep the wand? Nope. Uh, I shall pocket okay. the wand. Hold on. 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 We'll take that armor. Uh, Better in our hands than in the hands of the dragon cult. You're going to take the wand, are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's ripping her arm off. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> oh, I'd like to apologise, Ignatius. I know it's your sister, but oh, look away. Smeg. I've done something very perhaps, silly. Oh, there we perhaps go. we can do that uh, when we're back. She won't need be needed to be undressed now. Oh, she's got clothes on underneath. Not money, but... <laughs> He's tugging at a breastplate. <laughs> Give me this shiny. <laughs> okay, you've got the wand in your inventory, Ignatius. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank I'm you. Not sure, but we could have it. We could sell it. But it might be good for Ragnar. It might be good for whatever future tomb we have to roll up. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job, team. Good job. Excellent work. We've got a lot to report to the council. Let's get back. Yeah, it's okay. a that serious dick swinging to do when we get back to the council. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let me just... Uh... Does my new necklace make my bum look big? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's well wow, after dawn when you came out. Okay. Okay, you carry Talus's unconscious body back and... <clears throat> Tie her onto one of the uh, Griffin harnesses where Chanel, Amelia, Basil, and Lipsy are still waiting for you. Um, and uh, you mount up onto the Griffins, uh, which take off after a lurching run. Uh, can Merid make a constitution check, please? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I knew he wasn't uh, going to forget that. It's roll on the ability and not the save. Yeah, it's a check. Okay, oh, you managed to keep your uh, your last meal down as the griffin lurches up into the air, and uh -huh. you start heading back towards Waterdeep. Fuck you! With that, we'll take a quick two or three minute break. If that's okay, guys. Okay.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink. Yeah, that's great. I can say. What? Two, three minutes. <laughs> that gif, Rich. Brilliant. For the dragon, leaping on the dragon. I'll be back in a That's minute. perfect. That was pretty epic, gentlemen. I'm going to go and grab a drink back in a minute. Congratulations, you've leveled up. It's oh. the words I want to hear. <laughs> All right, so okay. I am back. Uh, oh, kind of oh, without your silence, she could have incapacitated me. Without your dimension door, we wouldn't have got the killing blow. Yeah, you Mark's guys are getting pretty... I mean, it was a young dragon, but still. Yeah, yeah. It's a dragon. Mark's yeah. aerial duel with it. Oh, it was just epic. <laughs> that was a bit of an epic battle. <laughs> that, just zooming up in the air with Mark hanging off the back of it. <laughs> Very funny, man. Very funny. Good job. We are bad out. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> that ice breath just brushed it off. Wow. <laughs> that is yeah, it's a good job you made that save, uh, Dave. Well, you've had, you'd have had yeah. about four hit points left. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm, I'm on 18 decks, aren't I? Yeah, thank fuck. <laughs> Do you want the cold ring, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I've got the um. You might have to change this on my character because I've got the the, the uh, cloak of protection, which should give me plus one save, but it's not automatically added to my saves. I forgot, but I passed. Because so you haven't got it equipped, so there you go. It should do now. But let's just try. try. Why, oh, why is my decks fucking advantage? Why is everything advantage? I don't know, mine was as well. Not my role. Um, not sure. You've got no abilities on you that give you advantage. <coughs> uh, that plus one isn't isn't kicking in. What should you have on you? <laughs> Hold on. I'll just I'll just try and remember, mate. Every save I have to add an extra one on. No, I can I can automate it for you. Um Why are you getting plus seven to your dexterity? Uh, oh, it's because it's pro your proficiency as well. Proficient, uh, yeah, plus um, three proficiency. Give me a second. Yeah. I got two dice rolls on my strength check. So, uh, what does the cloak give you? It's just um, an extra plus one save to AC and and saves. Cloak of protection. Uh, that was epic. Yeah, good 
job. I wasn't prepared to let that fight finish. We had to follow. <laughs> no, okay, no. yeah. Yeah, I've only I, I've only got the one dimension door because I've got the I've got one level of rogue, so I'm not up to Mark's next level. My cleric gave me the two, so that was lucky that you had the two, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, didn't even know you, I didn't even know you had Dimension Door, Dave, so that mm -hmm. was just like, oh fuck, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that was excellent following me up, that was brilliant. Yeah, it really worked well. Trickery Domain gives me uh, polymorph, was it polymorph and Dimension Door? That was wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't turn him into, try and turn him into a chicken. <laughs> well, that could have been funny. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm putting an effect yeah. on you, Mered, which should give you the bonus to your saves and stuff. Oh no! One. Sorry, I'm going to remove that because for some reason it was applied by Ignatius. Let's try, uh, try that. There you go. Gives you one armor class. Does it give you one armor class or just one to your save? Well, one. I've added the one. I've added the AC on already. I've, I've miscellaneous plus one. I put that on already. Okay, take that off because I've done it with a an item. Uh, <clears> an effect. <throat> It'll be easier if you. Remove the item. Oh, just... Can I drop my AC down? Oh, some textbook shit. Because my AC, my AC should be eighteen. Um. Uh, if I need to apply the effect to you again, then hold on. Mm -hmm. Why is it not giving you an extra one AC? So I just keep keep that as a. Um, it should work. Hold on. <clears throat> Back in a sec. I'm running out of liquid. Okay, we'll try and sort that out in a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll just add it back then for now. I'll make a note to sort it out later. The save effect works. Okay. Probably well, just be easier to do it off the, off the AC on the front and just... Whack of the one mod. Well, in in, I'll, I'll get it fixed <coughs> using the effect because I can just remove the effect if you take the cloak off and it takes off the AC and the saver. Like okay, it makes it easier. Yep. <laughs> I've actually only taken 20 hit points of damage. Oh, I see, yeah, I see, yes. Yeah, I've come back and I've just seen that. Lovely. Semantics if we're heading back. Okay. So by the time you, the griffins start to descend towards <laughs> the palace. <laughs> Uh, in Waterdeep, the sun is starting to go down uh, um, and in the west over the ocean. Late is the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf <laughs> Grey. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll close that map now. There we go, closed. Too many Darius. Mm -hmm. Tick. Okay, so the Griffins come to land. Uh, a couple of the other gnomes run up to help you unload and help you off the, the mounts. Oh, summon, the council. Council. summon the council immediately. <laughs> Start the dick swinging. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, I just, it's not in my power to summon the council. Somebody get me the council! <laughs> <laughs> Let us head to the council chambers. Okay, you uh, are you taking Talis with you? Yeah. Okay, she has now awoken. Good. She's gagged and bound. Cheers. I will use um, blindfold as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How long is it going to take to get there? Um, if you're walking through the city, probably about half an hour. 
Okay. Um, Marad, um, you know that the council chamber won't be open at this time of night. Uh, probably going to be shut, mate. Uh, is right. there anywhere where we can take it, like prisoner dungeon? I, I reckon we should just rock up and bang on a door because this they can't they can't pass this opportunity over. There's going to be yeah. somebody there. Yeah, the war's, the war's not going to wait for. Uh, no, people they're... to sleep, is it? Right, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't operate nine to five. No, let's get them out. Though. Fucking yeah. bad. Yeah, so we have to be sleep. Yeah, we've been <laughs> flying all night. <laughs> Let's get down there and start hammering on the door. Yeah. Okay, you head over towards the, the Lord's Palace. Um, there's a few people milling about outside. Um, um, as you approach, you can see some of them sort of whispering and pointing at you as you walk up. You walk up to the guards. I'll, ca I'll carry Talus myself. Uh, okay. Okay, there's a couple of burly human sure guards uh, wearing armour yeah. and the cloaks there in the device of the city. We need to see Leosin and... Oh god, what's that other dude's name? Call a council! Uh, I've got an important prisoner. I, I'm just Wanna a guard, I can't call the council. If there's someone specific you want to see, I can see if we can uh, get Is a message Leosin to available? them. available? Uh, Leosin... Um... I don't know who that is, I'm afraid. I'm going to uh, whisper into my... Uh, speak into my half bin. Is there any harpers about? We need somebody. We've got one of the worm speakers at the council building. There's no answer. Uh -huh. Nobody in range. Hey, it got dark. <laughs> right. Has so, anyone got any notes? Who uh, the council members right. are, I have Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Gar, could you find... The Chamberlain, the Seneschal, well, I don't know what you call it around here. The the, the cleric, the deputy, the secretary, um, the Right, just chairman. wait, I'll get someone. Get Thank the you. fucking guy in charge! <laughs> <laughs> the main fucking man! He's <laughs> 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 swinging his dick as he's <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Get the man in charge. Okay, after um, after a little while, the guard returns. Uh, with him, he has a short half elf man uh, who smiles at you. Um, he's uh, wearing robes of state, and his hair is very neatly cropped. Um, and he's holding his hands behind his back. Yes? How may I help you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> we, are warrant we are warrant holders of the water deep. We have a very important prisoner and information concerning matters of the cult of the dragon for the highest ears of authority. Only. Oh, I see. Um... <sighs> I, I'm not sure who would be the best person to, to talk to. Um, Run a few names by us. <laughs> uh, no, it's all right. Just give me a minute. I'm looking through this. I could I could Can't see if Lord Neverember would be willing to see you. Brilliant. We'll start yeah, there. Um, Get him. Get them all. Get please, them all. Please come with me. <laughs> and he, uh, he leads you through the gates, um, takes you up into the palace and uh, takes you into a small room which is beautifully furnished. Uh, please wait Thank here, I will go and see if Lord Neverember is available. Thank you. He kind of looks over at your prisoner with a, a slightly disdainful and a curious look. And on Thorf Room as well. Uh, uh, Mr. Froom does not live at the Lord's Palace. Send a messenger. You know how to send a runner, don't you? Uh, yes. Could I'll send please? a message. He disappears out of the room, uh, leaving you alone in the room for a while. Talis is stirring. Um, the main palm, sister, you are a prisoner. About half an hour passes. The door opens, and the man who led the last council meeting, Lord Dagult Neverember, comes in. He's 
a neatly trimmed grey beard. He's wearing some kind of night robe, so they're of the most exquisite quality. He has a glass of wine in one hand. Oh. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see you back so soon. Uh, forgive us the intrusion. Lord Never Ember. I see you've uh, brought a present with you. Who's this? This is Talis the White. She is a worm speaker. We have brought her prisoner. Talis the White? I thought Varum was the White Worm Speaker. Oh, Not anymore. Yeah. We killed him. Killed him? This is good yes. news. Well, I will have this woman imprisoned and questioned. She is a caster. Be careful. Make sure she is guarded by uh, clerics and wizards. Noted. Thank you. You've done us a great service. I'll certainly bring this uh, this to the attention of the rest of the council when the next meeting is called. I hope you will do us the honour of uh, of attending. That's your service, my lord. <laughs> the we also have some extra information uh, that we'd like to impart to the. Uh, council as well about the dragon masks and maybe a way to uh, finding out where they are this is uh, excellent news I can see our faith in you was well placed my friends uh, favor, I, will send, Lord Never Ember. I will send words to Ilverstar Manor when the council is to be called though I fear it will not be for several weeks what <laughs> It is no easy thing to call the council. It is made up of of uh, <clears throat> representatives of all the nations of the Sword Coast. They have to travel here. They have to agree to come. They bring on of entourages. Of course. A favour in the meantime, Lord. If I can help, of course. Please treat the prisoner with respect. She is my sister. His eyes widen slightly. Uh, there is more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Ignatius. Forever at your service, Lord Never Emma, but please treat her with respect. But do not trust her. She is as wily as a fox. Uh, our interrogators will get as much as we can out of her. Thank right. You. <laughs> Need any more interrogators? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in that case, we'll leave her in the council's good hands and uh, expect you to uh, reward us. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we oh, what oh, married me to say, my lord, is we will retire to our stronghold. Yes, you retire to the huge mansion which the council has already given. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Well, you carry on with your little job and run around after the council, and we'll 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 speak to them later. <laughs> Hand over marriage, mouth. He looks at <laughs> you, ushering <laughs> him out, ushering him out the door. Uh, with the greatest of respect, Lord. Thank Mr. You, Tuck, you may be a citizen of this of this city, but I am the Lord of Neverwinter and Waterdeep. <clears throat> I control half the forces of the Sword Coast. I have the lives of tens of thousands of people in my hands. I do not get up to little things. <laughs> I will leave Lord the little remember. things to the little people, Master Halfling. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Right, let me we just thank write you for your hang time on, and we're sorry to disturb to you at such a down. late hour. I'll get a little notepad and pencil out. Of <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you for your consideration, and we'll be speaking to. Uh, a representative of the council forthwith, lovely. Thank you. If we may take our leave, my lord. Of course. Thank you once again. Yeah. I'm at your service. Bow our heads to him. Well, I bow my head to him. He smiles at you, glares at Mered with a slightly taut look in his eyes. Don't give a fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did <I'd> say that. <laughs> sorry. Oh, it's a, a brilliant. Yeah, well, oh, we could do a bit of a rest now, couldn't we? Oof. Terrible work saving the uh, terrible work saving the world. Well, my, my my head, let's go. I think we should get back to the stronghold. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies, Lord um, Never Ember. 
<laughs> Both of you put all the rest of your shoulders and my little legs are going. Again. Come here, you wanker! <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking have you, you wanker! <laughs> He's been drinking or something <laughs> on the on the rock, different ride back. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey I'm, I'm chaotic neutral. I don't. I, I, yeah. Just, yeah. I thought I was supposed to be doing the deck swinging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you're escorted back out of the Lord's Palace into the streets of Waterdeep. Can everybody make a perception check, please? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about our stronghold because I'm, I'm oh. the, the vampire might oh, have yeah. paid it. The vampire might have paid it a visit. Reroll that one for the hot. Okay, uh, Mered, the hairs on the back of your neck as you're walking down the street away from the Lord's Palace suddenly rise up. And everything, again, suddenly goes very quiet in the streets. Oh my god, what's happening? You look around nervously. There's a tension in the air. You look up, and right in the far distance, high above, you see three dragon shapes flying eastwards. All of a sudden, the silence ends, and things come back to normal, apart from the barking of dogs and the slight unease in the air. It reminds you of the time the drac horn sounded before. Three dragons. Like, did you see that, boys? No. What was that? The dragons. You didn't see the great big dragons in the sky. Uh, no doubt they've heard about the death of one of their kind. They're forming some form of council. They're flying over to the east. That's where the dragons are. Let us get back to the manor. I think. Yeah, I think we need to get back, get our heads down, and have a word with your mate. Uh, sorry, our mate, the Osin. And uh, speak to one of my friends as well. Let's go and see you after Rajal's got everything in order. Okay, you head back to the manor. Um, as you get there, Thamash, the half burly, half orc guard, is uh, guarding the gate with uh, Bartholomew, one of the new recruits. Oh, you're back! Good to see you! Good to see you, Thamash. Bart. How did you get on? Right. I hope you, you killed got a wrong speaker. Captured you... another and killed a white dragon. <laughs> Sounds like a good day's work. Could you get a could you get a fire going in the main hole? Because I'm a bit uh, caught a bit of a chill. Uh, well, you go speak to Rajal best for, that, Rajal for that. I'm I'm still at my post. Yeah, great work, Thamash. Keep it up. Good. That was a test. Well done. You passed. Okay. <laughs> I'll share the, the map of the, the ground floor, but um, uh, I don't think we need to move you around on the map or anything. Uh, you head in, you find uh, Rajal uh, in the main dining area. He, As you enter, he looks up um, with a smile on his face. Ah, right, you're back, good sirs. Good to see you. Good, good to see you too, Rajal. Uh, could Dorica perhaps prepare some food with... Been on the road a long time. She, I believe she can, Mr. Ignatius. She was just about to go to bed, but I'm sure she'll be over the moon that you're back safely. I'll get her to put some tea on the boil and get some food. A oh, nice bit of supper before bed. Oh, while you were out, Mr. Dre, this package arrived for you. He passes over a small package to Dre, who tears the paper right. off it. And there's various papers inside which he glances through. As he uh, uh, um, he continues to read them, as Dorica starts rushing in and bringing mugs of uh, hot tea and some warm bread and cheese in. Um, Thank you, Dorica. Uh, he looks up. Everything okay, Dre? <clears throat> My friends, I think I'm going to have to leave you for a while. He throws what? the papers down on the table. Anything we can help with? I am struggling to keep the blade under control. It is going to put our mission at risk unless I do something about it. Before we left, mm -hmm. I commissioned an investigator to investigate mm -hmm. the name Hazaron. These are his initial findings. I need to follow them up, put an end to whatever force or spirit is within the blade. If I get the chance, I will check back in with you, but I fear my presence 
will only make your job more difficult and more dangerous. If we um, can be of assistance, let us know. He passes you the uh, the sheets. Um, if one of you would like to read them out. <laughs> Sorry, it's just clearing my throat. That was it. <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I can do it. Compiled by Oliver Towerfall, the name Hazaron is not one that has been heard for many centuries. The information in this report has been hard to find and even harder to confirm from multiple sources. This is obviously partly due to the age of the name, as will become apparent, but also because there appears to have been a concerted effort to avoid writing it down at the time it was relevant. The libraries of Blackstaff Tower, the Temple of Denier, and the font of knowledge in the castle ward all turned up nothing. I had to turn to a friend, the scholar Dolok Dalton of Candlekeep, before anything was uncovered. Scholar Dalton found an obscure reference to the name Hazar Rorn, an ancient codex entitled Worm Reaver's Lament, which told of some early exploits of the famous frost giant hero of the Thousand Years' War, Kurumur Worm Reaver. The giant's story is most famously told in the saga of the Dragon Queller. Although the original document of the saga has been missing for years, it has proved a popular tale that obviously altered somewhat as it has been passed down through the generations. This is interesting stuff, Dre, I must say. Mm. The Worm Reaver's Lament predates the saga, it seems, and details some of Hrimur's early battles against the draconic forces of the war. The name Hazar Rorn in the document appears to be a phonetic translation of the draconic Hazar Ren, which roughly translated means Death Serpent, and it appears to refer to a specific being that was killed by Hrumur somewhere around 2600 Dale Reckoning, minus 2600 Dale Reckoning, around 27,600 years ago. The document is extremely vague, as these things tend to be, but the following passage is the one in which the name appears. Author's note, apologies for this translation, this is an extremely old document <clears throat> and the language used was not entirely clear. So it reads, the worm reaver slew the captain of the first host, Hazar Rorn, and his followers fled back into the mountains. The giant roared down at his fallen foe, I curse thee, foul worm, you shall not know peace until my line is renewed, and death shall not give thee rest. Uh, That's all I've been able to uncover. If you require any further services, I would be happy to serve. Yours, Oliver Townfall Esquire, Scholar. Well, I can see that you've got some work to do here, Dre. Yes. <coughs> I will leave in the morning. My apologies. No need to apologise. If uh, you need our help, please let us know. Thank you. I do not wish to go. But I fear I cannot control the blade much longer. Understandable. It's a heavy burden you got there. It's a heavy burden. I wish you luck. He nods and sits down and drinks some of his tea. Brother's gotta do what a brother's gotta do. Absolutely. Let me help you pack. <laughs> well, it'll be sad to see him go, and we'll certainly lose some power from our group of adventurers, but our quest is too large to let this slow us down. I believe we need to speak to Leosin as soon as we can about getting up to the, uh, the Sea of Moving Ice. Oh, Christ, oh, that's where the... Uh... Isn't that where the your father is? Or That's absolutely is correct. I think it's about time we uh, went and paid old daddy a visit. Who was the person that went out searching? It was a woman, wasn't it, or something? That's right, yeah. Let me see. I wrote it down somewhere. And she's not been heard of, has she? She's, uh, she went investigating it so you remember that um, a woman who who came to the council 
told you that um, there was a tiefling scholar called Macath the Crimson who worked for the Arcane Brotherhood and who studied the dragons of the north. She was, uh, her primary area of study was the Drakhorn, which is what sounded and is summoning evil dragons. Yeah. And uh, the last that was heard of her was uh, she'd been, she went into the uh, Sea of Moving Ice uh, to investigate the dragon Arauthator, uh, who was meant to be the guardian of the Drakhorn. Um, but she hasn't been heard of for three years. From for three years. And it was the woman that knew about this. This was the one yeah. whose husband got murdered, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't her. It was a friend of hers. Oh, okay. And she she brought her into the council. Do we know um, she was from the... Hang on. Um... I can tell you her name if you give me a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Haventry Estate. That's uh, so Romalia Haventry, Haventry is the uh, one of the leaders of the Harpers. He was at the council, and it was her. She brought in the woman who told you this story. Right. Yeah. So we need to speak to Haventry. We perhaps need to go to Haventry Estate tomorrow. Yeah. The woman was called Darla Dilmahelv. Darla Dilmahelv. Darla Dilmahelv. I'm uh, okay. I'm tired. I'm going to get some rest and meditate. Dre shuffles out well, with a Dre. grim look on his face. If you need us, you know where we are. Mm. Well, that's a sorry turn of events. It looks like the group is now three. Hmm. Well, you really need to get that sword sorted out. And if it... <sighs> Well, look, look at the reality of it, Merid. If he lost control of it, Ragnar would put an end to that very quickly, and uh, that's something we can't afford to happen. He carries a heavy burden. He does indeed, my friend. If it turns out that that soul in that sword has something to do with the dragons, and I hope he gets it sorted out. I'm quick. sure we'll be seeing him again. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> One journey at a time, young Merid. One journey at a time. But if this lord was working in conjunction with the dragon, trying to get a dragon back into this realm. Is there any alcohol in the room, Neil? Uh, not in the not that Indeed. you can see, no. But it's been tidied up for the evening, pretty much. Dorica, just before you go yes. to bed. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, where is the wine cellar? I believe we need to celebrate. Oh yes, uh, th that's uh, it's not very well stocked at the moment, but it's it's down it's below the north tower. We just need a few bottles. Thank you. I'll go and uh, retrieve some drink from the. From the uh, Mr. Ignatius, uh, Mr. Ragnar, Miss Mr. Merritt, if you not be needing me anymore, I'll be getting to bed too. So right, good. We've got some celebrating to do, sir. You sleep well. Uh, you, you too. I'll see you all in the morning. <laughs> Actually, my socks need ironing. <laughs> so, Ragnar, so I sit down, I pour everyone a glass of wine. Ragnar, do you feel Reynard has been avenged? We've taken her power from her. The day so, yes. It's, uh... I know she, uh, there, she didn't... There are... Have a head things. removed. Yeah, there are bigger things than that, young street <clears throat> um. Right, I'm off a bed, chaps, and I'll see you in the morning. And maybe have a word with a friend in Ilsin. I'm going to finish this bottle. Sleep well, Merred. And I'll I'll okay. go to my room and I'll I'll uh, get ready for bed. Put my little okay. Little, pick up a little dish, put it on the uh, on the window sill, and uh, just leave a little gold coin in there and. Uh, Give it a wink okay. and get to bed. Uh, Ign Ignatius and Ragnar will have a few drinks. Are you doing anything else in the evening? Before you <laughs> retire? You were going to put your Jimmy Jams on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we'll just... Okay. No, no, just... Okay, drink you have a few drinks. Chat about our adventure. Chat about the adventure and make your way in. And uh, sleep comes quite easily to you all. Excellent. Oh, that should have been a long rest. Sorry, let me just... Oh, the fuck?
There you go. Um, okay, you awaken the next morning. And uh, as you head down to the dining hall for breakfast, there are two people uh, awaiting you there. One is Leosin. And as you enter, he comes over and shakes your hand. <laughs> I, uh, Three. I heard you were back, my friends. It's good to see you all safe. Where is Dre? <clears throat> He's uh, out to head out. Something to do with that sword he was carrying was bothering him. And bothering us. It was a yeah, evil Dre. sword. Dre has just had to attend to a personal quest. Um, unfortunately, um, it was hindering our investigations. So he's so, taken... Sorry to see him go. I, I will he's pray taken... that he uh, his quest is successful. We can... uh, we've told him... uh, Mr. Ragnar, Mr. Ignatius... There's, there's somebody else here to see you, sirs. Uh, please, please no, join, join us for um, breakfast. He gestures over uh, to the side of the room where there's a, a, a half-elf who is sitting quietly with his hands uh, on his lap. He's neatly dressed in black velvet, uh, well-trimmed clothes. Um, he stands up and bows to you. Hello, my friend. Come, take a seat. None of that uh, that stuff here. Please, join thank us. Thank you. I am I am here to bring a message. Um, I am Dathan. I am servant of the Lord Volmer, Baron of the Dauntless Hills. Uh, my lord has heard stories of your prowess and wishes to speak to you about the troubles threatening the north. Uh, I believe he has something that may be of aid to you. If you agree, he would welcome you to dinner at the Elfstone Tavern at a time of your choosing. Well, I don't think we've got anything on this evening, have we, chaps? No, that sounds good. How about this evening? That sounds lovely. Thank you. I shall tell uh, Lord Volmer um, you have accepted his offer. I'm sure he will be most pleased. Uh, shall I say eight o'clock? Perfect. We shall be there. I shall see you later. Thank you. Any backs out of the room. Yeah, up, sits him down again. You will eat breakfast. <laughs> you will accept the hospitality. Can I, uh, try uh, a history check on the on the uh, Baron of the Dauntless Hills? You can indeed. Um, yeah. Absolutely shite. <laughs> never heard of it. Nothing. No, you've, you've never heard of it. Um, use the tower <clears throat> for checks on oh, that right, show, but. Um, <clears throat> Oh, actually, no, you don't need to. You would have known whether you failed or not. Okay. Um, oh. What are you inciting, Ragnar? Uh, the same thing. So if I've heard of him. That would be a history, not an insight. Or you oh, could sorry. make an intelligence check or an arcana check. Uh, no, I'll go for history. I'll do the same, just in case on my entertaining travels I've heard of okay. anything. Uh, arcana, history or intelligence, please. I'll do history, seems more relevant. It's usually good to know who you have yeah. about to have None to of with. you have heard of the Dauntless Hills or of Lord Volmer. Ah. means nothing, I'm sure we'll find out tonight, gentlemen. Yes. Uh, my friends, um, I, I spoke to Lord Neverember, uh, this morning. He told me the good news. You've done very well. I'm very proud of you all. Um, I have also managed to arrange transport uh, to the Sea of Moving Ice. We are currently outfitting a ship called the Frost Skimmer. And when you are ready, Excellent. it will be awaiting for you in the harbour. Excellent. Thank you. The Frost Skimmer. Who is the captain? The captain is uh, a very able seaman. Uh, Captain LaRooster uh, Harface. Let me just double check. Uh, <laughs> um, things I'm doing <clears throat> from memory. <coughs> when are we due to leave? Yes, we, LaRooster Harface. Do we have a time schedule on leaving for the ice waste? Uh, that is up, up to you when you are ready. Uh, when did he say he was going to assemble the council? I believe the next council is several weeks away. A lot of the representatives oh, right. returned right. to their home cities to pass on okay. the news of what had happened and to see what pledges they can make to the defence of the realms. 
Uh, please tell the captain that we aim to leave in the next couple of days, probably tomorrow, guys. If all been unless anybody well, we'll to attend to. we'll we'll see. Let's see what the uh, Lord Volmar has to say tonight. Do you need anything else while I while I'm here? <laughs> no, we'll we'll let you know tomorrow what our plans are. But for today, we're going to have on a day of rest. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Um, if you if you need to uh, <laughs> if you need to to get hold of me, um, you can uh, talk to the guards at the Ra Haven Tree Estate. Excellent. Yo, sin as ever, it's a pleasure, sir. He bows slow and then uh, leaves. Mm. Uh, as mm. he does so, uh, Gerbo, uh, one of the new guards, the gnome, walks in, yep. plonks himself down on, up on one of the chairs, <clears throat> and starts helping himself to breakfast. Morning! Morning, Gerbo. Morning, Gerbo. Right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. It's a lovely place you got here, and the food's excellent. We like to feed our people well. He sits there and takes a big bite out of a chicken wing and leans back and picks his nose with one finger. <laughs> lovely. Do you, have any, do you have any family, Gerbo? I do, yes. I have four lovely children and a beautiful wife. When this is all over, we're probably throwing a festival. You must bring them. Oh, oh yeah, I pictures. will. <laughs> I hope it is all over soon. Well, there's two, but yes, we shall see. The fate shall decide. Enjoy your food. Thank you. I have a bit of time before my shift. Excellent. Okay, so what are you guys going to spend the day doing until? Uh, you're meeting with Lord Volmer. I'd like to go into the uh, town, do shot, and fill, just fill up on my crossbow bolts. Um, okay. I am going to pop to my favourite dwarf tavern and regale them with the tales of my adventures. Oh, okay. So you're you're heading down to the bearded mermaid in the dock ward. Yeah. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. I'm going to show them my new necklace. Brag about our adventures. Okay. Okay, you, you head down there. Um, Actually, Mered. yeah. <coughs> Sorry, um, this will be separate, but I'm going to go and visit my prisoner. Okay. Okay, let's deal with Mered first. So, Mered, you uh, you head off mm -hmm. into town after a, a, a nice breakfast. Um, I mean, it, it's pretty easy to find somewhere that sells uh, crossbow bolts. Right. Um, you can stock up on those at the price in the player's handbook, which if you give me a second, I'll... Gold piece down? for 20. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm nearly nearly 20 down, so I just took my gold piece and click all the things, so it's <clears throat> completely full again. Thank you, here we go, man. And click, 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 click. click. Oh. Okay. All right, I'll just uh, yeah, I'll wander leisurely around the town, back to the estate. Okay. Keep my eyes out for things. Okay. For there's again. um. Sorry, go on. Go there's on. Sorry, um. Didn't mean to interrupt. That's right. The the atmosphere in the city is as boisterous as ever. There's just a slight undercurrent of um of worry and nervousness. Um, you pick up some news that the, the cult has been sending emissaries to various cities in the south. Mm, trying to drum support. Mm. That's worrying. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll keep, yeah, just keep my ears out for any of these, just the latest news. Maybe pick up a newspaper. Okay. Yep, okay. And uh, just, oh, just keep, make sure I'm not being followed because uh, nasty things happen sometimes in cities. Okay, the newspapers are obviously full of gossip about the war. Um, there's still some gossip about the the fallout from the last, the first uh, council session. Um, 
there's rumours that Lady Laryl Silverhand is not happy with the way that Dagult Never Ember is handling things and is trying to drum up support for a move to oust him as leader of the council. Um, there's rumours of battles and towns being burnt in the south. Um, yeah. I'll um, I'll just I'll spend about just uh, twenty minutes. Uh, I'll get a uh, pastry and send about twenty minutes sitting on a bench in full view of everybody. Make sure people can see me. Just spend twenty minutes eating that pastry, then move on back to the uh, state. In case anybody wanted to contact me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I do understand now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be anything. Okay. Done. Okay. Uh, let's move on to Ragnar. Uh, you head down to the dock ward, which again is teeming with people. Um, I'm going to um, take the Medusa head with me for another trophy for the bar. Oh, okay. Okay, you you enter the bar. You see uh, Kirill, the uh, the barman, uh, with his feet up on the bar, and he's snoring loudly as you enter. But above the bar, you do notice that your axe is proudly displayed, <laughs> and uh, underneath it is a small brass plaque, um, which says "The Axe of Ragnar Dragonbane." Awesome. I'll chuck the Medusa head on him while he's sleeping. <laughs> ah, what the what the hell is this? He looks up and throws it back across the room. Almost falls back off his chair as he does so. And, he, and then he notices you. Part of Metal Hall when you're ready. Aye, <laughs> oh, of course, on the house. It's good to see you again. What the hell doing, is that? Oh, another trophy. That's... Another slain monster that fell in the wake of Ragnar Dragonbane. <laughs> it ain't gonna turn me to stone or nothing, is it? Or my customers? No, it's sure it's quite dead. Aye, right, well. I'm <clears throat> certainly make a nice talking point. Was you a big Well, there's been no more murders. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, it's just been busy business as usual, really. Um, there has been a lot of elves passing through. And Not this tavern, but through the ward. They're uh, they're taking ships heading west away from the war. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. <I'm married. laughs> Didn't fancy a fight. <clears throat> anything, anything else been happening? Oh, what do you yeah, expect I from an elf? Drink your toes. Fucking elves. <laughs> um. There's, he, ha he has local gossip about, you know, illicit meetings in the dock ward. <laughs> Rumours that the Zentarium have been trying to flex their muscles, things like that. But um, nothing that has any direct bearing on. on I'll um, pass him a bag of gold and um, you keep your ear to the ground for me, brother. Aye, of course. You're welcome any time, Mr. Ragnar. You know that. I'll I'm keep a I'll seat warm at the fireplace. Mm. I'll be leaving again shortly for yet another adventure. So, uh, like I said, just keep your ear to the ground. Let me know if anything. Okay. As you, you as start. you uh, you go to leave, um, there's a a young dwarf maiden um, walks up to you. Um, she's kind of playing with her beard nervously <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it I are you the dragon bane <laughs> fuck it I've got time <laughs> <laughs> okay so Ragnar spends the rest of the afternoon um, combing knots out of her beard um, to use a rather strange <laughs> euphemism 
Okay, Ignatius, you head back to the Lord's Palace, I take it. Yes. Okay. You go up to the gate. Mm hmm. I'm here to see a prisoner I brought in yesterday. Oh, uh, yes, uh, Miss Lord Neverember told us to let you in if you needed to come in. Please, please, enter. Thank you. Um, you head in and uh, you find near the entrance Edwin Hayward, the seneschal that you met last, the previous night. Mr. Hayward, pleased to see ah. you again, sir. Mr. Ignatius, nice to see you again. What can I do for you? I'm here to see the prisoner. The prisoner? Right. Um, okay, well, yes, uh, follow me then. Thank you. Uh, he takes you down through the halls um, and down into uh, some of the dungeons <coughs> below the palace. Um, okay. As you wander past some of the guard rooms, you know you notice a familiar face as you wander past one of them. There's uh, an incredibly obese man. Uh, even though it's early mornings, he's already sweating and mopping his brow with a red silk handkerchief. <laughs> it's Hagar Bryman, the watch chief from the dock ward. And he's chatting to some of the guards. Bryman. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, for my hand too. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. Good, thank you. It's a good job, uh, good to see you. with that mess in the dock ward. Ah, thank you. Yes, it was a mess indeed. We seem to get to the bottom of it, though. Yes, yes, I'm just... Oh, just, uh, it's a lot of steps down to here, isn't there? <laughs> it is indeed. Seems like warm work. Why don't they ever build dungeons at ground level? It's a very good question. You fat bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. I've no idea, Wyman. I'm here to see one of the prisoners. Oh, okay. Well, d don't let me stop you. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, sir. Okay, you head down past some guards. Um, the Seneschal has a word with a couple of them. They look over at you um, with questioning eyes, and their eyes widen as the Seneschal speaks to them. Um... And they lead you down uh, a couple of corridors to where there's just one uh, metal door uh, at the end of the corridor. The door is glowing slightly with a strange arcane glow as you approach. Um, okay. The guard slides open a hatch in the door. Uh, there are bars on the other side of the hatch, but you can see through into a bare stone chamber. Um, there's a pallet bed on the floor in there, a bucket in the corner, a window about 15 feet up from the ground which is barred, and the whole room is glowing slightly. And sitting on the pallet you see your sister, uh, battered and bruised, covered in axe cuts, um, <laughs> that have been treated Sorry. but are still, uh, you know, relatively recent. Yes. She, she looks up. Lady Talis. Brother. Uh, welcome to my beautiful house. Well, I couldn't see you dead. She looks at you with a slight questioning look in her eyes. I suppose I should thank you for that. Uh, I take it Glagel was not accorded such custom. Unfortunately, he fell. Look. He, he was young, but he was still a dragon. Absolutely, and it's incredibly sad that he had to die, but... Unfortunately, there's two sides to this thing, and... You saddled yourself with the wrong one, you do know that, don't you? It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what you think, brother. The cult will win. I have told you this. There is nothing you can do. There are too many. They are too strong. The Dragon Queen will return. There is no avoiding it. Oh, I'm absolutely sure she will. And I'll be here to welcome her. And you know what I'm capable of. Look. You need to accept the inevitable, brother. I'm sure someone as wise and powerful as you 
with the blood it you have in your veins, would find a place at her side. The blood I have in my veins, I'm a bastard and you know it. But with that comes a mix of power. I swell with it daily. <laughs> 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 Let me side the camera. Yeah, yeah sideways. <laughs> All right, Sid James. <laughs> do you do you have any information for me? Anything that could help us? I already helped you. I helped you get onto Skyreach. You're going to remain here, and you know that. And the fact you're my sister means nothing. You are part of a jigsaw puzzle. You and say the, the word, picture. Ignatius, but I know that's not true. I do mean something. <clears throat> of course you do. You're my blood and flesh, but... Right is right and wrong is wrong. There's grey area in between, and we dance among it, but... What are you doing you know now? Where am I on arrive? Where are you headed next in your futile quest? That is for me to know. I don't know who you have contact with or who you can bribe, and I know your wily ways, so... But if you haven't got any information for me, I'll uh, make sure they make it as comfortable as they can for you, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, yes. They've made it very comfortable. Well, I'll see you anon. We shall see. I do hope you survive the coming cataclysm, brother. But the only way to do that is to choose the right side. Absolutely. Farewell, sister. Nod at the guard. We will meet again. I'm sure of it. The guard slams the... Uh, the hat shut. Okay, who's uh, the head? Is there a head guard around here? Uh, the central can take you to the chief of the guards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, he takes you. Uh, there's a uh, an elf uh, wearing chainmail armor, a cloak with the crest of Waterdeep on the back. Sir. Yes. I'll uh, I'll hand him five gold pieces. Please make sure the lady Talis is fed well. And, uh, There's no need for your coin, bedding. sir. We will look after her. Get us some decent bedding, please. He looks over your shoulder at the Seneschal, who nods. Very well. Thank you. Be well. And you I'll too. leave. Mm. Okay, you will separately make your Nothing way back gained. to Ilvestar. Yes. Um... Uh, prepare yourselves for the evenings. Uh, uh, Orgy. I I just need to take a quick minute AFK to sort Ruby out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. For that, that, I'd like just to do a circuit around the grounds and see if there's any changes to those marks that I made in my thieves. But. No, nothing's been changed. You've come across several of the guards. There's two or three guards on uh, on patrol at all times now, as well as two guards on the gate. Just, just nod to them as we walk past. Yeah, I'll just check them, see if there's any uh, counter scratches been made. No, so... nothing, nothing has been changed on them, <clears throat> nothing added. Mm-hmm. Just wait for Mark to get back. Mm -hmm. Ragnar is... is um, Right. Has obviously been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the sounds of dwarven songs being <laughs> echoing around the courtyard. I wonder who this, uh, I wonder who this, uh, oh, where is it, on oh, my notes.
Not under this Baron of the Dauntless Hills is and what he wants with us. I hope there's coin in it. Because we're on a very important mission. What are you drinking, Ragnar? Mithril Hall, nothing else. Oh, I'll have a pint of that myself. Never mind if I do. Cheers. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid we don't have any Mithril Hall here, Mr. Merritt. Oh, what have you got? Any any misty long bottom? <laughs> uh, I'll have a look. Lovely. I used to love that. Back at the Shire. <laughs> pipe weed. <laughs> have you got any long bottom leaf? Have you got any pipe weed? <laughs> <laughs> I could do with a pipe or two. I haven't had any in ages. In fact, not since I rolled this character. But I've suddenly decided I, I, I've, I've got a need. <laughs> Enjoying the spoils your of Your love of the Hearthstone's <laughs> leaf has clearly <laughs> slowed your mind. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend a bit of time and contemplation in the chapel. Just uh, okay. I'll walk around the chapel, giving it a look, seeing this is thick okay. stuff. Okay, yeah, you, stuff. you pray for a bit and. Uh... Mm. <clears throat> Pour a bit of wine in the communion cups, have a sip or two, you know, okay. being basically, um, well, not desecrating, just, you know, just a, a nonchalant finger up at authority. Just scratch a few marks to veil and I'm mask back. in the dust. Okay. Okay. Um, at about seven o'clock, um, you're summoned to the uh, dining hall, and Dathan, the half elf, is there uh, waiting to escort you to the Elfstone Tavern. Hello, Dathan. Oh, you? hello again. Uh, it's good to see you all again. Yes, I've come to, to escort you to the, the tavern when you're ready. Um, what can you tell us of the Dauntless Hills, then? I don't think I've ever been there. Oh, um, I think you should speak to Lord Volmore about that. But is that, isn't that way you hark from yourself if you're uh, in service to him? No, I do or not do come from the Dauntless Hills myself, no. I, I come from Parnast. Uh -huh. How come you ended up in the service of uh, Lord Volmore then? <sighs> I was looking for a job. How does anyone end up anywhere? It's the story of my life, but it would take too long to tell. My spider, sense, my spider sense is tingling. Lord Volmer sounds like a vampire. So he waits patiently for you to uh, to ready yourselves. Yep. Uh, he then uh, uh, leads you out of the manor uh, into the streets of Waterdeep. Um, Staying in the North Ward, he leads you to a three-storey tall building. The corners appear to be anchored by massive oak trees that tower above the roof. Um, there's a sign outside, a pane of clear blue glass in the shape of an oval gemstone. And um, blue dancing lights orbit about and through the glass. You can see the leafy tops and trunks of other trees over the roof. Um, as you enter the inn, you're struck by the earthy smell of an old forest. The interior is dimly lit by silver flame torches along the walls and in chandeliers hanging from the branches of trees that are growing up through the centre of the tap room. You're greeted by an elven lady. She introduces herself as Yareen of House Ilbereth. She leads you up some stairs to a private chamber. Uh, and a pair of large double doors with two large half-elves standing guard to either side. Uh, Dathan knocks on the door and then opens them uh, and Lady Irene leaves you. Um, you enter the room to see the following. Just bear with me one second. Oh, my stone. 
the largest half elf you have ever seen rises from his seat as you enter the room at the end of the table. You must easily stand nine feet tall. Behind wow. him are two more <laughs> half elf guards with a large white hooked pole arm leaning against the wall between them. You're vaguely aware of a pair of elven serving, serving maids who are sort of dashing in and out. Let me put them on the map. Dashing in and out of the room. Uh, as the giant uh, half elf approaches you. Greetings! I am Volmer, Baron of the Dauntless Hills. I'm glad to oh, meet the, the heroes blood. of Waterdeep. Hopefully, oh, we can. So big. <laughs> Let us sit and drink and eat, my friends, and we can talk. I hope we can aid each other against the forces arrayed against the North. But first, dinner. Please sit. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Volmar. Okay, if you want to move yourselves to your seats. <laughs> Merrill and Ignatius are fighting over one of the seats. <clears throat> Happy pew. Okay. Okay, the maids bring in um, uh, platters heaped full with uh, steaming hot food that smells wonderful. There's an entire um, uh, pig uh, laid out with an apple in its mouth, you know, in the traditional way, surrounded by steaming vegetables. Mugs of ale are brought in. Uh, it's Keep good to meet you, everyone, to and how they react and how they're watching us. Okay, make an insight check. Uh, in the tower? Of course. Uh, skill. Insight. <laughs> Okay, they are all. Um, bear, they all bear the uh, demeanour of very professional guards, and whilst they smile and nod at you and make polite conversation when you talk to them, they're constantly on watch. Okay, I've closed Thanks. the floor plan deal accidentally. Sorry. That's all right. I can show <laughs> it again. It should still be in the images and maps for you anyway. Yeah, R O T Elfstone Tavern. I was drawing an arrow towards the maid and <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so um yeah the the food comes out, it's served, you tuck in. Um Volmer just talks to some of the guards at his side as you eat. Are you doing anything or saying anything? Um so Oh, sorry, go on there. Okay, no, go on, Ignatius. Nom, 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 nom. So, why do you bring us here, my friend? Oh, let's, we'll talk business after the meal. Oh, okay, well, if we're not going to talk business, let's <laughs> talk entertainment. What, what, um, we, what are we drinking? <laughs> ah, now that I can tell you, we're drinking the finest El Elverquist. I was, uh, I mean, uh, I don't want to talk politics, but I do, because I'm going to. But what do you think of the elves withdrawing to the West? <sighs> well, it's not all of the elves. It's only certain factions. They're returning to their homelands in the Isles across the sea. I, I heard These it, are I heard worrying the, uh, times. I heard the elf, kicks, elf king's sons are... Uh, more in, uh, more inclined to deal with it, to meet this threat. You mean Melandrak's sons? Yeah. Yes, indeed. I have not had the pleasure of meeting them, but uh, I hear they are both, uh, both do their father honour. Um, I also hear there have been skirmishes in the Misty Forest, though nothing major as yet. Ah. Uh. Uh, it just seems a shame that I, they can't draw together under one banner. Oh, the humans are having just as much difficulty doing that. Very true, very true. Oh, this, this, this duck's gorgeous. Oh, what did you cook this in? Oh, nom, nom, nom. 
I, I will have a word with the maids and see if they can get you the recipe. Maybe Dorica could learn a thing. So, Baron, uh, tell us of the Dauntless Hills. We know little of it. Ah, they are far, far from here. I've travelled on a journey that you can't have to measure in miles, days, weeks or months to be here. But I'm here so I can aid in the fight against the Hell Dragon. But let us save talk of that unsavory task until we finish this wonderful dinner. Would you like some more of this Elf Quist? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to eat sparingly. I'm not okay. going to fill my face. Okay. And drink. I'm, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> drink. I'm going to make it seem like I'm drinking more than I am. Okay. Um, uh, make a again. deception check. In the tower. You never know when the meal is going to be your last meal. Um, 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 um. Okay. I'm tempted to drink my potion of enlargement, so I'm the biggest dwarf he's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The dinner's coming to an end. Um, the various desserts are bought out. Um, and then some sherry to drink afterwards. Finally, after you've eaten your full or as, fill as much as you, you deem wise, at least, uh, Lord Volmer pushes himself back slightly in his chair and stands up. So, let me more formally introduce myself. I am Lord Volmer, Baron of the Dauntless Hills, Warden of the Northwestern Pass, and vassal to the Lord Beldavern. And I have travelled here far from my homeland on behalf of my lord to aid you and your allies in your struggle against the Hell Dragon and her dupes and minions. Unhappily, my homeland is distant enough that there is little direct material aid I can provide, and my delegation, as you can see, is small enough that I fear attracting the attention of the Hell Dragon's forces. Thus I am reduced against my desires to only providing aid covertly. First and foremost, what I can provide is information. How much do you know of the Hell Dragon? If you're referring to Tiamat, um, we know she holds power over all of the chromatic dragons and holds their power within her. Uh, a devastating foe. She is a god. Mm hmm. And to defeat her would require unlimited power. We are really up against it here. Well, uh, perhaps I can expand your knowledge somewhat. Did you know, uh, for example, that before she became a, a goddess, she was a reluctant servant of the gods Bane, and later Asmodeus? Did you know that her brother, Bahamut, was the ruler of the good metallic dragons? Yes, I knew of Bahamut. In the distant past, the Hell Dragon, uh, during the wars against her brother, she made a deal with Asmodeus, Lord of the Nine Hells, but she was betrayed. Deals with devils rarely work out well. Mm -hmm. And she was imprisoned there. But, from her domain in the first hell, Tiamat strives against the Duchess Sariel, and the ruler of first, the first hell, appointed by the Archduke Asmodeus, and the pit fiend lord who overthrew Tiamat when the Archduke found her incompetent. Sariel works to see the hell dragon gone, so that she may consolidate her power. The pit fiend lord seeks to prevent the hell dragon from escaping. The forces of hell are split. The Hell Dragon must defend herself and her plans from these as well as from you and her allies, diverting her attention from those small details that could fully ensure her victory. For instance, this is not the first time she has tried to invade the Prime Material Plane. My homeland suffered the last time she tried, so I seek to ensure her failure now as she failed then. The details of her last attempt can be found in a book known as the Avatar's Tools. While normally I'm sure she would 
work to remove these these books into her hoard. I am also sure that her attention has been diverted enough to forget this small detail. And I just so happen to have acquired the book. Wonderful. I am here in Waterdeep, as its status as a trading magical metropolis makes it an ideal place to discover leads on obscure lore and in a personal interest of mine. It's also an ideal place for my secondary mission, expanding what little trade there is between my homeland and your land. So, I am proposing a deal. I need your help. I came prepared with a number of gifts and valuables for trade. However, our information about Waterdeep was a little outdated, and a number of our more expensive items are less valuable than we thought. I have learned of an obscure trove in the upper levels of Hallister's Maze that has not yet been plundered, and is reputed to have some very worthwhile replacements. If you would retrieve these items for me, I will share anything I learn from the Avatar's tools with you. What do you say? Where is this, uh, has... So, uh, Merit, you've heard of Halister's Maze. Halister mm -hmm. was the wizard who created the Undermountain, the huge dungeon that lies <coughs> underneath Waterdeep that you uh -huh. can access through the Yawning Portal and other places. And Halister's Maze, you know, is one of the levels of the uh, the Undermountain. Oh, Halister's Maze is in the Undermountain. I can provide <coughs> you with directions through the maze. Um, directly to the location of the trove. Um, but there are some specific items I would like recovering. You recover them for me, and I will tell you everything I learn from the book. What items are these? Oh, uh, just items that would be good for us to trade. Um, one is a translucent ruby, the colour of blood, with a white star shape in the centre. One is an eye patch with a, a mock eye set in a blue sapphire and moonstone. And the final is two silver rings bound with a fine chain. One bears a swirl of three blue peridots, and the other is set with black chalcedony pieces. Trifles, really, but important. Uh, they originally came from my homeland. Hmm. Look at my colleagues. What do you think, gentlemen? Well, now that them elves are wandering off, we need some more allies to deal with this cult and Tiamat. And as soon as them politicians are it's like trying to get them to move is like wading through mud but I think we need all the help we can get I think the help is more valuable than anything I agree Ragnar Ragnar stands up picks a chair up throws it against the wall everybody's got a fucking agenda they've always got to be doing something for fucking somebody else no one can just turn up and fucking help us and he storms out the fucking door Okay. <laughs> well, Volmer just raises an eyebrow. If you decide to walk away, my friends, there will be no hard feelings. We will just, we will just say this meeting never happened, and we will both go about our separate businesses. Ragnar looks back over his shoulder. We could always just take the book. <laughs> well, Volmer smiles at you slightly. That's a very. It's a very interesting proposal you got there. Mm. Are you well, interested? That is what I need to know. Have you approached the council with this? No, it's a mere trifling matter for them. They're not interested in trade between the Dauntless Hills and Waterdeep. I've approached them in the past about it. I'm always interested in adventure, sir. Very well. Well, there is a one minor matter we must discuss before I give you instructions on how to reach the trove. 
Sadly, experience has led me to discover that not all such trades end well, and, surprising as it may be, not everyone is to be taken at their word. Therefore, I must insist that one of you signs this contract, so that I may rest happily in the knowledge that you will not run off with the trove yourself. He nods to one of his guards, who walks up and passes you a piece, a large piece of paper, Ignatius, um, which I will share with you if you want to read it out. There are two pieces. There's the first one. What was it you were saying about doing uh, uh, deals with devils? And there's the second one. <laughs> if you would care to read those out loud so everyone can see what's on them, please, Mike. Ragnar just walks okay. out. He's had enough. He's had enough. He's gone. This contract binds the scribe and recipient into a deal of chosen escalation for an unending period of time, or this contract is voided by an agreement on the part of both parties. On the part of both parties. That's a song. Um, upon agreeing to and signing this contract, the recipient is bound to their agreed obligations and parameters within the first pact <laughs> as it is described. Upon completion of the agreed obligations and parameters on both sides of the initial pact, the first pact is considered complete and concluded. This contract as a whole remains until the predetermined period of eternity, allowing the recipient, should they feel inclined, to invoke and trigger the second or third pact. And at any time there, the fucking lawyers, and thereafter through verbal <laughs> acceptance in relative proximity of this contract, the obligations and parameters agreed upon within the second or third pact then become binding and immediate to be fulfilled on the part of both parties within an agreed upon period of time. Upon completion of the agreed obligations and parameters on both sides of the second or third pact, that pact is considered complete and concluded. This contract remains in effect through all pacts and thereafter, maintaining any agreed upon specifications and obligations that remain outside of a pact's completion for eternity. Any violation of this contract on the part of the scribe immediately holds this contract null and void, requiring a penalty payment of 15,000 gold pieces to the recipient to be paid immediately. Any violation of this contract on the part of the recipient immediately looks the claim and ownership of the everlasting soul of the recipient invoking oh. the laws of the pact primeval under the control and dominance of the scribe for all eternity, sending the soul of the recipient immediately, immediately upon death to the scribe to do with as they see fit. The first pact. The scribe, Lord Volmore, priest pass on any and all knowledge that he learns from the tome called the Avatar's Tools regarding the Hell Dragon, also known as the Five-Headed Dragon, also known as the Chromatic Mother, also known as Takahesis, also known as Tiamat. The scribe also agrees to pass on his gifts brought from the Dauntless Hills in place of the Trove of Halister. The recipient, Space, agrees to be the instrument of obtaining the Trove of Halister from its resting place in the maze of Halister, lying in the under mountain of Waterdeep without revealing or leaving of evidence that could connect or incriminate the scribe in the act or reasons for the act. The second pact. The scribe agrees to immediately conjure forth a cadre of devils in the service of the recipient, whom shall remain under the command of and dedicated to the protection of the recipient for the duration of one month. The cadre shall include four Hamatula and a single Ocelot. Should any devils bound within this agreement upon cadre be slain outside of Beator, a Bator, sorry, they are absolved of future service to the recipient. The recipient space agrees to introduction and installation of at least two chosen of Dispater, who have been selected by the scribe within a place of divine worship of the scribe's choice. The recipient must not interfere with this installation upon completion, or any interference will be considered a violation of this contract. The third pact. The scribe agrees to immediately impart the recipient with knowledge of ancient power beyond their grasp, <laughs> enabling the use of divine powers granted under grace of Lord Dispater 
that can instantly restore themselves or allies to a healthy state or render the life force from their opponents. These powers remain within your possession until death. The recipient agrees to immediately lock the claim and ownership of the everlasting soul of the recipient, invoking the laws of the Pact Primeval under the control and dominance of the scribe for all eternity, sending the soul of the recipient immediately upon death to the scribe to do with as they see fit. This is signed by the agreed parties under the laws of Pact Primeval. Okay, so, so I, this... I hope that is all quite clear and simple. Not Neil. really, Neil. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to grasp hold of my um, my religious focus mm -hmm. and using guidance um, beseech the uh, knowledge of wow of the god Vale and all things hidden and using my um, financial acumen. Which I've used from my background. Yeah. Um, is this a deal with the devil, and are we screwed if we sign? <laughs> <laughs> uh, make an intelligence and an arcana check. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Where's the thing? There it is. Uh, where am I there? Okay. Uh, intelligence. Oh, God! Oh, my God. <laughs> I suppose you think that was terribly clever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> terribly clever. So, uh, yes, it is a deal with the devil. Um, but the first pact, uh, which is the one you've been discussing, basically says he will pass on all information if you retrieve the Trove of Halister for him. You can then, at a later date, invoke the second or third pact as you wish, if you wish to. The second pact will summon forth a cadre of devils to serve you for a month. Um, and in return for that, you will have to place some items in some places of worship, which will be told to you. Uh, the third pact will give you incredible power and knowledge, but the price for that is your everlasting soul upon your death. You don't have to invoke the second or third pact from reading the contract. It's just an option once the first pact is completed. If you don't complete the first pact, there will be a penalty of 15,000 gold pieces that you will have to pay. And if you don't pay it, then you will the, the person signing will lose their soul upon death. You have my answer in Discord. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> have a look, chat. Let me get a look. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, uh, do we have an agreement? Look, can you just give us a few minutes to talk amongst ourselves? Of course, of course. Um... Yes, I, I will get one of the uh, the serving girls to take you to the room next door. Much so obliged. He, he calls over one of the serving girls and they escort you out into a small room next door. About half the size of the room you're in. Still quite nicely appointed. There are still, you can see the, the branches of the trees growing up through the floor and into the ceiling. Lord Volmer, oh. before we go... Yes? Who are you? What manner of being are you? <laughs> Show us I, uh, to... I am Lord Volmer of the Dauntless the... Hills, I have told you. I <laughs> just wink at him. That's a very nice, a very nice trick you got there, mate. Respect. Um, yeah, let's take a, a five-minute FK while Rich uh, plays Call of Nature, and we can, and you two can just discuss it. What it'll be sort of out of character and stuff while Rich is AFK. Yeah, I need a bio too. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I've only dreams here. <laughs> yeah, another deal with the. Uh... So, Mered, I. I think Mered's just gone gone to the loo, mate, <laughs> or rather, David. Oh, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's just you and me at the moment. <laughs> mm. So, were you expecting that? <laughs> Not really, but I am tempted. Ignatius would be willing to sell his soul to save the people of the Swords Coast. But you don't have to sell your soul to do the first pact. No. Unless you fail, and then you have to pay 15,000 or sell your soul. Thing is, what if they're not there? What if it's not possible to retrieve the Trove of Harrister? But then for him to want them, those items must be incredibly powerful. What if we don't sign the pact and just go and get them anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Natural twenty. Just respond to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> basically, basically, I think so. We're going to do a deal with the devil that if we don't deliver on the on it, we're basically fucked. Well, and if you don't deliver on the first pact, you either owe him fifteen thousand gold pieces or your souls upon death. Right. So we just keep on accruing items as we go along and make sure we try and get fifteen grand in the bank and reserve. You don't have to accept you don't have to invoke the second or third pact, but you can do that at any point in the future, according to this contract. So it's like a temptation that'll always be there. Mm. Oh, right. But only if you fulfil the first pact they, they can only be. So we just we just you imagine, see, we, we might, might be willing to sell his soul if need be to save the sword coast. And well, those powers are incredibly tempting if we are up against Tiamat. Yeah, but yeah, we just collect, and we hoard every bit of... It's like what I've been doing all along. We try and get as much money out of the mark as possible. And then in the last fight when we're facing Tiamat, because she's got enemies in hell, and it's basically Lord Volmore as a representative of her enemies. And uh, as long as we've got 15 grand, there's a bit of a safety net. We can use which those we've items. which we've got. Um, if we sell everything, we've got that. But my concern is, is what happens if the trove of Hallister isn't there, and we can't recover it? And we have to look really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be nice to have that second and third packed in our back pocket if we come up against Tiamat. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's like, plus you've got to think, would we ever, would Waterdeep ever want to see us again if we made deals with demons? Not that, you know, I'm overly bothered about that, but... They wouldn't know, though, surely, if we were... <laughs> I like throwing moral quandaries at you. <laughs> okay, but what would Ignatius do? What would Ignatius do? Ah, oh, he's too cocky of his own power. Uh, I think Merritt would be... He wouldn't feel he'd need the help. Ah, uh, Merritt, he wouldn't qualm over good and evil. <sighs> as long as it's not passing too much power over to good or evil, because he's neutral. But he'd probably balk about signing a fucking contract being chaotic. I've got no spells memorized for. It's like you can have spells for for writing which disappear after a while, but I haven't got anything working memorized like that. None of my shit. Do you want to make an Arcana check, Merit? Yeah, I'll use guidance if I may. Mm -hmm. uh, boop. Uh, Okay, 
Yeah, you don't know whether those spells would work on a devilish contract, if that is indeed what this is, though it does mm -hmm. appear to be, <laughs> based on the wording and the pacts. But I, I've got, I've got um, plus ten to my sleight of hand check, so if it comes to signing, <laughs> I can maybe do a little scribble. You, no, you can't, you, you won't be able to fool the devil, no matter how high you roll. Mate, mate! Let me roll. What you do know is it, it's not a legal contract. It's it's something else. It it's a, a binding within the laws of the the universe when you sign a devilish contract. That's why it's called a pact primeval. But I'd like I'd just like to point out that you know we came upon um, them chaps in down by the docks and they were calling me by a different name. There's, I've got yeah. men around here. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Mary took to my real name. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not. But perhaps mine's the best to put down there because I haven't heard you go by any other name. But Mary no, took am, might I not be my patient. real name. Uh, <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I don't think Ignatius. In fact, I think Ignatius might be slightly offended. He doesn't need <laughs> the help. <laughs> He's too cocky. Oh, what would he do? Yeah, I'm just thinking that seeing it looks like the support for the owls is dripping away, we might need to plumb different depths. And if I could find a way to pull the fast one over this guy, it's a hell of a challenge and I'd be... Oh, I'd love the challenge to pull a fast one over this guy. Okay, so if you sign it, I'm willing to help you. And then, if need be, you can always say when everything's going tits up and we're in front of Tia Map. I, 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 I invoke the third pack, sort of. If everything's going tits but, up. Yeah, we'd have to get the 15 grand in reserve. But if we do do it, we can just grab a hoard. <laughs> and that's the money. You see that wand that we got off Talis? I'm pretty sure that's from the description of it. I think that's going to be a wand of ice. That's got to be worth about 10,000 gold. But we don't have to invoke two and you, three. You only have to pay the 15,000 gold if you if you sign and you fail to fulfill the first pact. If you fail to fulfill the first pact, you have to pay 15,000 gold. And if you can't pay the 15,000 gold, then Lord Volmer will claim your soul upon your death. So that's pretty much the only thing on us, unless yeah. we have to invoke the third pact when everything's gone tits up, and then we'll lose Correct. our souls. Yeah. I, I welcome the challenge. Oh, what song is that? The part of part, the part of both parties. I don't know. I don't know. Go, go. But I think Merv would sign it with his name, knowing it isn't his real name, and think that would probably protect him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably just the act of signing. Doesn't have to be a particular name. Oh, I've only had a. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting <laughs> this, were you? <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I mean, we've only got... We've got 13 gram... No, 1.3 gram with us. Time that. One bar of gold is four grand, one bar of silver is four grand. It's strange that they're both exactly the same. That's 440 for the bead necklace, 4 8. I reckon we'll, we'll definitely have enough. We'll, we'll have the 15k, I think. We've got 18 pearls still, and then, fuck me, they're worth 150. I think. I mean, we've got the armor off Talos as well. That's probably going to be worth a bit. I reckon. I reckon we'll have the fifteen k because there's a horde about somewhere as well. But 
It's just whether we can find those three. We have to do everything in our power to find those three items, or we're fucked. Uh, I'm back. Sorry about that, chat. Sorry, mate. Welcome back. Feel better? Yeah. <sighs> right. Deal with the devil, eh? <laughs> it basically is. Yeah, so basically, Tiamat's got some enemies in on amongst the demons and hell. And Asmodeus was a bit of a twat to her. It's Bauhaus! Mm -hmm. Okay. What? What was that, Ignatius? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad that came out now, not in the middle of the, the final fight against Tiamat. It's Bauhaus! <laughs> uh, yeah, so... We... I'm not sure Ignatius could sign it. He's too cocky of his own. Well, whatever we decide, you know, I'm with you. But we know we can complete task one in our sleep. Listen to what? that song, it's very apt. <laughs> what is it? Well, if I may, um... Mm -hmm. At some point, we're going to be forced to take either option two or option three. That's we don't right. have to. It's the temptation. Uh, no, <laughs> no, we're going to be forced to do it because circumstances will put us in a position where we have to take option two or three. And then we but, fall yeah, because we're, we're going but to if lose we've... everything if we don't. And then if we we've got... lose everything when we do. If we've got the 15 grand, then we can do that fine. He's not bothered about money. This contract, that's just, that's, that's defusal. He wants our souls. <laughs> Word's got around what we can do. But Tim has got her own enemies on the other planes, and he might be representing them. But it's a bit of a power game amongst the gods. And like, Ian, he always said he wanted to go on a dungeon crawl. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't level 2 Dungeons and Dragons anymore, guys. <laughs> Playing with the big boys. Look, you know I'm with you. If, if, if the consent is to go and do it, you know I'm with you all the way. But I just I, think look, we're going to... I've, gonna... I've also got in my mind, what happens if we don't sign the contract? Those items he's after must be incredibly powerful to put forward a contract like that. I'm thinking, why don't we just go and get it ourselves? Mm -hmm. One reason might be that you don't know the way through the maze of Halister. Yeah. And he can tell you yeah. how to get through yeah. it. So why can't he do it himself? Surely he's... Very good hard. question. Very good question. Is he even supposed to be in this town? <laughs> Is he even supposed to be in... We're in Waterdeep, aren't we? Yeah. Is he even supposed to be in Waterdeep, this guy? Because he's obviously said he's tried negotiations before. So there's obviously some reason that people have not wanted to deal with this guy. <laughs> or their homelands. It's just <laughs> ringing alarm bells for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Ragnar's spider sense is tingling and he's not usually fucking wrong. <sighs> I say we just get on, go off, see your dad, and then tell him, let's just tell him we'll think about it. I don't think that's going to be enough if it's going to be, have to be a yes or no, isn't it? Well, I'm afraid it's a no from me. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know what? I think it would be from Ignatius. Like I said, I think he'd be offended that he feels he would need to depend on that. He feels powerful enough himself to deal with anything that's thrown at him. <sighs> So we run back in the room, kill them all. <laughs> Take them all. <laughs> Take them all is, that is that the plan? <laughs> oh. You're not going to be able to kill a demon. Come on. <clears throat> so it looks like looks like we're not going to do it then. Do you want to do it, Dave? Do you want to sign the contract? Um, I mean, I, mate, if you, you if, don't if, all have to sign. sign, just one of you can sign. But Mary, if, if you want to sign it, mate, then uh, forfeit your. Mary, if you oh. want to, if you want to sign it, I'm willing to put my gold forward to support just, you. I can always make more gold. How? 
And I'll back you. I'll back you up in the dungeon. It's not a problem. If we're just getting free items, we Koja, and he gives us all that knowledge from the book. That's the stake. Um, and we don't. Have, we don't even have to. If we don't get it, then we owe him fifteen grand. So if we've got fifteen grand spare, but we haven't. We'd have to. Before we go in the... See, the thing is, I don't, we haven't got 15 grand in cash spare, so we go into the dungeon without 15 grand... he teleport us there probably immediately without being able to turn all our items into gold. So we wouldn't have the 15 grand. We'd just go, right, you're there, bang. And like, hang on, we want to go to the shops. No, bang, you're there. You haven't got 15 grand. You've got to find this, or you're spending your soul in hell. Your eternity in hell. When, when you're dead... <laughs> no, no, you are because you're the one that signed it. Yeah, it would yeah, be yeah. you. Ragnar and Ignatius would be fine. <laughs> We're not pressuring you to sign it, but no, if, no, no, no. If it got... out out of character, if this is a part of the plot you wish to proceed, you know, on I... the adventuring side of it, then we're happy for you to sign. <clears throat> the, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is we, we've got money, but we haven't. And the thing with me is we haven't turned it we haven't turned it all into gold coins, so would it's like we haven't got the fifteen grand in backup at the moment because all our stuff's in, in items and shit. Money so comes and goes. Yeah, yeah, we we're, could... we're, we're on a quest that is no doubtedly gonna end in certain death. So what do we care about money? And items and wealth and possessions, what you know. Yeah, but if we if if you sign it, the only thing stopping us going to hell is having fifteen grand. But it's whether we take part X on all the stuff we've got in our party treasure, or whether it would have to be fifteen coins. I'm sure Lord Neverpants would fucking lend us fifteen grand after what we've done. <laughs> He's already given us uh, Alaster and everything, so maybe not. He's already paying part for the rent and everything. I don't think we could rely on that. I think, yeah, we'd have to know whether we would have to know whether we would part X stuff that we find on there, or does it have to be 15 grand in shiny gold coins? But, yeah, <coughs> it's, I don't think, no, it's too much of a variable, isn't it? Getting the money's not an issue. We'll I think it is. I think yeah, it's a huge issue. I don't think it is. We've already pretty much got that. You look at what's we in our party. We haven't. We've only got in our party treasure. We've only got one thousand three hundred and seventy-two gold pieces. Yeah, no, but don't, don't forget we put eight thousand gold pieces in the vault. We've That's got still... a bar of gold worth four thousand pieces. But, but what I'm saying is that he specifically said fifteen thousand gold pieces, not items. <sighs> Yeah, but we could sell them and then give it but to him. We wouldn't have a chance to sell them because he'd send us down there straight away. And if we failed, he said, "Where's my fifteen grand?" I said, "Hang on, we've got to go to the shops." He said, "No, give it to me now." Well, just time to shove the fifteen grand up his ass, and then you just forfeit your soul when you die. <laughs> <laughs> it's an option. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think that would happen. I think he would want the money because yeah. devils, as much as they're a pain in the ass, they stick to it. Yeah, but the thing that you'd stick to is having 15,000 gold pieces. Yeah, to be paid immediately. Yeah, we haven't got 15,000 gold pieces immediately. And well, I maybe think we go and sell, maybe we sign it, and before we go in the dungeon, we sell the bar of gold and the. I don't bar think he'd give us a time. I think he'd send us there straight away. That, that brings me well, let's ask the, him. But yeah, that yeah. brings me back to the point I made. Yeah. The fact that this contract is designed so that we have to take option two or three. Let's ask him if we will have time before mm -hmm, we can take mm -hmm. this up. Yeah, because we need to make sure we've got the fifteen gold thousand gold pieces. Yeah, very. Yeah. Hang on. So if we're going into a dungeon to recover some artifacts for him, just to get some knowledge. Yeah, we've got away with fifteen grand if we fuck it up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No! Contract says. <laughs> Come on, I just think we should go and tell the guy to get bent. <laughs> fuck. Fuck this, man! Bollocks to it. <laughs> Personally, I mean, from from Ignatius's point of view, he would refuse. He he would see it as an offence more than anything else. I think he's powerful enough to do what he wants. Uh, so 
We've got enough a, shit on our plate. <laughs> it's a powerful offer, but... <sighs> I mean, if you... Might, it might give that's us Ign a good That's Ignatius's answer, it's, but he will back up Mered if need be um, on the one clause that we have a chance to make sure we have 15,000 yeah. gold coins available. Yeah, that's a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker. So I, we should ask him that. Yeah, I mean, you guys know as well as I do that every decision we make is going to affect the end result of, of the campaign. Yeah. What, what we literally face at the end. Yeah, it's, it's like then, Empire. Yeah, money. Like, whatever allies we have with us, it's like whatever yeah. epic battle will ensue at the end. Obviously, <clears throat> the GM's going to tot up. You've done this. You've done this. You've done uh, this. Just so you guys know, I'm keeping track of everything you do, and at the end, every faction in the council, mm -hmm. uh, I, everything you do either puts a tick or a cross in a column mm -hmm. next to every faction member, and then I tot all pull the ticks and crosses at the end. Yeah. And depending on so <laughs> like you'll do some things, and some members of the council will be happy, and some won't. So you have to. There's not not you're not going to keep everyone happy all of the time. There we go. There we go. Either way, we're fucked. So I say. I don't care. In, in all honesty, I don't care who we keep happy. I keep. I uh, can we push Tiamat back? Yeah, and I reckon if we do get this guy on our side, we'll lose some other allies. So I don't think it will gain us a huge advantage. So but what I'm, what I'm telling you, just so you have the information, is this will get, might put a, if they find out, this would put a negative yeah. in some of the factions, yeah. but you can put positives in their column as well by doing other things. Or negative, more negatives. <laughs> Depends what happens. <laughs> Everything you do is being <laughs> locked. <laughs> yeah, he, he, in, in the, even if we succeed, some people might lose. may find out yeah. about this uh, that you turn them yeah. down, and they might be unhappy with you. You don't know. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Not that I want you're to like, add to like, your you're problems. Like, you are Lord Volmar yourself. You're throwing. I, I, I know what Ignatius would do. Ignatius would see it as an affront. I th um, I, 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 I need to ask him if we can get the 15 grand uh, together before we go down. And if we can't, that will immediately change. That will immediately decide it for me. To be honest, Marriott, uh, I, I'm willing to back you 100% whatever you decide. But for myself, I, I don't need his help. Yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to see if we can get the 15 grand before we can't. And I'll <laughs> definitely decide it either way. And let us, let us go ask him. Yeah. We'll head back into the okay. dining yeah. hall. You head back into the dining hall. Lord Volmer's just chatting to a couple of his guards, you know, quite nonchalantly, sipping his wine. Oh, he stands up when you come back in. Ah, have you made a decision? I'd just like, just one little question, if I uh, may be so bold. Of course, um, I w I'd expect nothing less. When we sign this contract, do you immediately send us to the Undermountain, or have we got a chance to sell our chattels to raise this 15,000 gold pieces? I cannot send you directly to the Undermountain. You will have to make your way there. I can give you directions through the maze, so you will have time if you act <laughs> quickly. Oh, so this. Uh, so we might not have time to visit the shops and do a bit of trading, get some deals on the things we found to get the R15,000 uh, gold pieces. There's a time pressure on it, is there? What does the contract say? I don't know, I've closed the windows. No, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, no, I've closed... Oh. Okay. All right, let me have a look. Hang on, one second, mate. Oh, oh that's the third. Just no. Without leave, revealing or leaving of evidence that can act to incriminate the scribe in the 
So we have any to do leaving that. of evidence. If we kill one person, that's leaving of evidence. Well, we just have. It's This is why you need someone like Jim playing the game. Ah, Lord Volmer. I'm yes? afraid. I'm afraid we. I think we're going to have to pass. On this. That is your decision. I am sorry to hear it, but if you decide to walk away, there will be no hard feelings. We will not meet again. Oh, Thank you for the wonderful mail. Can't say better than that. Oh, it's been a lovely meal. Um, and uh, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for the good company. Huh. I will uh, return to the Dauntless <laughs> Hills. Sadly bereft of the items I want, but no matter. Mm. I'm sure you could get them yourself. Perhaps I can find somebody else to do the work for me. Good, good luck. luck with that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Raise my glass to him. Neck it. And then he raises his glass and he bows to you. Nod at him and leave. Yeah, we're off quickly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you bow. He um, he smiles and bows. Thanks you once again for <clears throat> for agreeing to meet with him. Um, says he's sorry that you couldn't agree come to terms, and uh, lets you leave. Why were they all in the combat tracker? That's just because a... options, my friend. You never know what the party's going to do. <laughs> when <Ragnar's around. laughs> you never know. Why do I feel like we're Freddie Mercury who's just turned down EMI? <laughs> I still think we should run back in the room and kill everybody and take the <laughs> oh, One more thing. There's no way we'd kill him. Oh, there was one more thing, Lord. Uh, what was it? Ice bolts. <laughs> 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 so we like to open up our negotiations. Yeah, that um, was that, that was a right spanner in the works. That was. That, no, I tell you, that that not leaving any trace. Uh, the first time we kill a creature, that's it. We've left a trace. I, I'm happy with our decision. I think. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too dodgy. Yeah. Tempting, though. Very. It was. Nice Very. try, Games Master, but we're not for <laughs> your ruses. We're smarter than that. Well, no, it was tempting, though, because there'll, there'll come a time when we're up against Tiamat that we'll be saying, oh, I wish we had a whole army of devils with us, like said. Yeah, we need to do everything in our power to stop the masks coming into the. Uh... Control of the uh, cult of the devil, uh, cult of the thing in Big Bad Bear. Hey, if we don't, all we can do is give it our best shot. If we don't beat Tiamat, we don't beat Tiamat. Mm -hmm. You got it. <coughs> not like we're not trying. Well, <laughs> not like we're not I trying. Suggest... <laughs> <laughs> I suggest uh, we go back and get some sleep because on the morning we should head to the Frost Skimmer. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. Off we go. Okay, you leave the Elfstone Tavern, um, Dathan sees you out, and uh, head back to Ulverstar Manor. Okay. Ulverstar. Right. I just muttering to myself, but, but, but if we, ha no, no. Put it out of your mind, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> right, you'll right, never the know. Right decision, the right decision was made. You'll never know. Oh, well, no. at the end of the campaign, Neil will tell us all. <laughs> yeah, you could have got something amazing. Or you could have died. You mm -hmm. have to make a deal with the devil. Yeah, well, uh, head back to Alvaster Manor. Okay. Making sure nobody's following us. Especially not those spooky people. Okay, make a perception check in the tower. Mm-hmm. Ignatius is 25 anyway. He doesn't want to make a deal with the devil, because when he got to 27, he'd die. 
Mm. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you yeah you don't uh, spot anyone uh, following you as mm -hmm. you head back. Hey, come here, baby. Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> Bless him, can grind that thing if you can make sure you brush it. I Thank you, darling. I'm not going to lose well, any sleep over that. <laughs> no. I think we made the right decision. Now I've been with Penny a while ago. I've found 16,000 diamonds for this year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, his, his, his uh, motivation could be sending oh, us on a, a task yeah. impossible to prepare for just you. to get some souls. Yeah. Go say goodnight to Nancy and Grandad, please, darling. Yes, please. Oh gosh, it's twenty-two eleven. You need to get to bed. I well, think I'll head to the chapel and um, uh, give thanks to Vale for allowing me to pierce the intricacies of that okay. contract. <laughs> my, my twenty. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, check uh, as you go to bed. He's like. Are you all right, sirs? You're all looking a little bit shaken. Hmm. We met the devil. Oh, which one? What? One from the Nine Hells. They tried to make a deal with us, but we don't need them. <laughs> I say, sirs, you do come up with some tall tales. <laughs> Yeah? Well, what about this? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't do it. Okay. So you settle down for the night. Is anybody doing anything for the rest of the night, babe? No. Uh, no. No. It's like gross point, point blank. He goes around telling everyone he's a hitman and they just laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're bedtime. Okay. Bedtime. We've got to be at the Frost Skimmer in the morning. To meet with Captain LaRusta. Half face. Lanathin half face. <coughs> oh, it's because you are you trying to use your TV? Hooked <laughs> into the wrong internet. That would have been an epic dungeon call, it's like <laughs> Where the fuck is it? I can't find it. I'm going to hell. <laughs> We've got Ragnar in the party, not killing monsters, that was just never good. Yeah, but one of those items could have been totally unachievable. All it took... Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Dave's <laughs> having second thoughts already. No, 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 I'm just saying, no, fuck it, we did the right thing. Type thing. So we many did. things have gone wrong. We did, we did the right thing. Yeah, it just wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. We need to get to the Sea of Moving Ice. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go and pay Daddy a visit. Mm. Okay, you wake up the next uh, the next day. Oh, I'm going to be the belligerent teenage child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, where were you at my birthday? <laughs> you got it, baby. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear, you've just melted my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, next morning dawns, so you, you meet up again in the, the dining room. Hmm. <coughs> um, Rajal. Uh, yes, Mr. Ignatius? Today we're going to be heading off on another journey. We might be gone for uh, weeks or maybe a few months. Uh, keep the place going. Uh, make sure everybody's well fed. We've left plenty of money in the vault. Yes, of course, sir. We'll look after the place. Don't you worry. All right. Make sure everybody lives a good life whilst we're gone, please. Very well. I'll do my best. Well, look at Ignatius. We are coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> These people are not just our employees, they're our friends, and we should look after them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have a, a good breakfast that Dark has cooked for you. 
Uh, Wonderful get all your food, packs Dorothy. Ready. Um, it's about eight a.m. By the time you're ready to leave. Perfectly peppered eggs. Right. Let's gather my kit together. <laughs> give a good blessing. Beseech the gods. Okay. And, uh, Those D6s, by the way, GM, are me seeing how many charges I get back at dawn okay. on the staff, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, just check with okay. Roger if there's been any visitors at all, anybody, any nope. message? Any there's messages? been no more visitors. No messages, right, messages, messages, messages. Lovely. Right, right we need to uh, head down there, tell Leo Sim we're going. Okay. Um, get, uh, Rajal, can you send a message to um, the, Haven Tree. the Haven Tree estate, please, and let Leosin know that we're heading off to meet the captain of the Frost Skimmer. And we're uh, heading yes, out. I'll, I'll send Bart. Thank you very much indeed. You'll have a great time whilst we're away. <laughs> the like 8,000 gold in the vault. Party! <laughs> yeah. oh, you wish you every success, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Gold left in the vault. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You're fifteen thousand gold down, strangely, all of a sudden. <laughs> Rajal's got an army of demons following him around. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Uh, you where are you heading then? Down to the docks. To the docks. Down to the docks, looking for the frost skimmer on the docks. Okay, you head down to the dock ward again. Um, you're able to find the, the frost skimmer uh, relatively easily. Um, it's a light long ship with a, a shallow draft. Um, it's got a single sail and rows of oars lined up along the side of it. Um, there's a man, he's shouting orders. Uh, send you a picture of him. No oh, wonder he's called right. Half Face. Yeah. <laughs> eh, <Ew>, what's that? <laughs> Staring. <laughs> yeah, uh, to the docks. Uh, we've got all our kit, haven't we? All our backpacks. One uh, uh, to the ship and the gangplank. Okay, um, one of the sailors notices you coming and sent, uh, shouts a word over to the captain who comes down the gangplank towards you. Ah! The rooster! Good to meet you! Leosin told me uh, we might be leaving today. We've, uh, we've packed uh, cold weather gear, uh, snowshoes, and so on. Uh, climbing gear on board. There's me, the 12 crew. It's going to take us a few days to get up there. Do you know where we're heading or what we're looking for? We're heading to the Sea of Ice and uh, we're not quite sure what we're after when we get up there. The Sea of Moving Ice is a big place. Do you have any mm -hmm. idea what you're after, what you're looking for? We're looking for uh, uh, the Dragon Expert Macath. And where's she? Well... Wow. Not exactly sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> Macaf the Crimson, yeah. Weren't we supposed to talk to someone? I probably think we should... Probably. Yeah, we were supposed to talk to that woman that was summoned into the chambers and um, find out where we need to sort of land where her trail started. Uh, to pick up her trail. We... Yes. Actually, Captain, we may have to come back to you. Well, we're ready to leave. Don't be long. The crew are eager to be off. You we'll notice as he talks that he, he keeps. Oh, sorry, his... guys. I'm going to have to take an AFK just for one minute. Okay. Sorry. It's good to meet you finally face to face. <laughs> you notice as he as he talks, he he keeps he's 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 wearing a leather hood and it's kind of it's cut so that half of his face is kind of covered by the hood. Do not shy away from your. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I am a human being, not an animal! <laughs> yeah, we'll go and find. Uh, what's her face? It was Lady. Uh, I can't remember 
my fucking name now. Who, who are you looking for? It was Lady Watsit's friend, wasn't it? The one that, whose husband was killed. Dollar Dilmahelf is yes. the woman that was brought into the council chamber. Remy Haventree is the leader of the Harpers. It was her husband that was killed. Right. So the Haventree estate then, I guess, is probably so, the best place. Well, so do we need to contact the Harpers then? To get... uh, uh, yeah, we'll go to the Haventree estate then when Mark comes back. Okay. And Gears. Okay, yeah, you make your you make your way um, out of the uh, the dock ward and head up back up towards the north ward again. Um, you find the Haven Tree Estate. Um, it's a large mansion surrounded by an iron fence. Several guards patrolling around the outside. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to Mark. see Lady. Should we wait for Mark. Haven't yeah. You? Oh, drinky poo. It's time for a drink. Yeah, I'm just going to go and fill my glass up while Mark's safe again. Back in a sec. <laughs> just people faking sports injuries. Funny. Turn up to the docks. Right, we're ready to go. Where are you going? Don't know. Back in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Romalia have traded. for the nation. <clears throat> oh yeah, Neil, the um when the you know the D D Beyond. Oh. Yeah. When when they um do uh, Twitch streams, their role play they're the best mm. Twitch streams of the D and D. They have a whenever one of their players rolls a nat twenty, yeah, they they give out um uh, like a legendary pack, oh, for, uh, like a raffle, yeah, and you go into the raffle whenever any. It's, I think it's a max five per session. Oh wow! And when it, yeah, so you have to enter the raffle and like they draw the raffle. Of, but we're not using DD Beyond, but <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I'm back. Sorry about that. That's right. I'm back. Okay. So you head back up <clears> to <throat> the, yeah, as I said, you're outside the Haven Tree Estate. Yes, uh, Mark, because, um, yeah, the Haven Tree, uh, what's the name thingy? Uh, Romalia Haven Tree, the Harper at the Raven Tree Estates. Mm, yeah. There's some more information about uh, what's the face. Because we didn't know exactly yeah. where we Darling were. Darling Dilma Health is who we Silma need to speak Health. To. Yeah. Silma Health. Yeah. That was my fat fingers when I was trying to type it. Hit D instead of S. Mm hmm. Okay. I've still got all our packs on our back. Okay, so yeah, uh, is Rich back? Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, um, the guards notice you approaching. They, they obviously recognize you. Um, one of them, uh, before you even approach, sort of uh, looks over his shoulder, shouts at another guard who runs off. And by the time you reach the gates, the Osin is there waiting for you. Oh, my friends, are you uh, you ready to leave today to, for the sea? We yes. are. We need to know where we're heading, though. That would certainly That's help, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right. Um, yes, you'll want to speak to uh, Dala. Um, follow me, please. Of course. 
he takes you through into the manor, which is uh, it's probably about three times the size of Ilverstar. And there are <laughs> staff everywhere. It's yeah. well kept. Um, it's very busy. People running about everywhere. He takes you through uh, an entrance hall, turns to the right down a corridor, and then into a small room, which is appointed with plush carpets, a large couch, a writing table. And the woman that you saw in the council chambers who was summoned in is sitting at the writing table, uh, writing writing some notes or something. Uh, she stands up when the doors open, um, sees you enter. <coughs> Leosin? Lady Lady Silmahov. Yes. Yes, I know I who you are. I do you remember us they from do. the council. Um, we're going to be heading up to the Sea of Moving Ice. We need... Uh, to hear your information again, we need to find your friend up there. Uh, Macath. Um, well, Macath was a, a member of the Ar uh, the Arcane Brotherhood. Um, she went there doing research. Um, she would send her reports back to the host tower by by use of sending s spells. Um, her last report spoke of seeing ice hunters paddling their seal skin boats towards a huge iceberg flattened like a plateau across its surface but ringed by icy peaks she wrote that she had intended to follow the ice hunters investigate the iceberg but after that no more reports came did she have a location for this iceberg no there was no location the host tower did attempt to find her using scrying and other magical means um, but they only located her ship adrift and heavily damaged. Some of the ship's crew were dead, but no sign of the, the tiefling was ever found. Whereabouts was the ship found? Do we have a location for that? I do not know the location, I'm afraid. So we're looking for an icy plain surrounded <clears throat> by icy A huge iceberg. Okay, mm. maybe our captain. Knows, if you're uh, if you're going to find Macath, if she is al alive, uh, any law you can bring back for the Arcane Brotherhood would be most gratefully received. And of course, try our best. Uh, it's gonna I be understand a it's not the main quest. reason for visiting, but um, if she if Macath is alive, I'm sure she can tell you what she knows about the Drakhorn. Yeah, we'll try and bring her back alive this time. <coughs> we'll see. Okay, <laughs> we'll so we see. need to. We'll, <laughs> we'll need to. Uh, we need to find some sort of settlement up there and start doing some investigating to find this huge iceberg. Hey, do you huh? think that um, dwarf robes we picked up were magic? Oh, we haven't visited the shop, so we uh, to have a look at our latest... Uh, oh, oh, please tell me we don't need Cockcroft. Yeah, I, we need, I've got a... We need, I've, we need Cockcroft, don't we? Yeah, we do. We're a friend and be very pleased to meet you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much have we got to ID? Is it a robe? We've got the wands that I got off her... Yeah. Um, the the armour armor that we got off her. Oh, I need to add her armour to your party sheet. Uh, Alright, let's, let's get. Come on, let's go have a drink with Cockcroft before we go. Alright, okay. We need to go back to the inn that we, we met him at all every time. Would be the best way. I think so. Or we can have him. We can nip back and have him come to our. I'm not entirely sure of the exact way to contact him. I can't remember. It might be because I was drinking a lot at the time. Um, he's one of your Zentarium. He's a member of the Zentarium, Brett Cockcroft. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But so, I, can't, I can't remember oh, how to say it. We've got the Dragon Dagger as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that I've got in my backpack. Oh, yeah. It says finger in, the, finger in his dagger. Nice oh. to know what this does. So, yeah, you can... You can um, you can contact uh, Alpa at the docks, and he can arrange for for Brett to come and meet you. It'll be just after midday by the time he gets there. Okay. 
the dragon dagger might be relevant in case we have to. Is kill he going to come and meet us <laughs> at Ilvastar? He can do if you want. If you want him to. <laughs> oh, let's meet yeah. him at one of the inns on the docks. It's a long All right, way to okay, go okay. okay, yeah, fair point, fair point. Okay, which inn are you going to go to at the docks? Uh, I can't remember all the names. Here we go. Let's find one. Um, surely I, I know. What the my... fish? Something fish. The soar. What about the soaring Pegasus? Because it's posh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So you head to the way of the dragon, um, and yeah, you find the uh, the soaring Pegasus. It, it's on the edge of the dock ward, a bit further away from the actual docks themselves, but um, it's beaut it's the beautifully decorated, a bunch more upmarket than many of the do taverns in the docks. Yeah, it's a good place for people like us. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you settle down, you order a few drinks, um, and you wait. <coughs> um, and just after lunch, um, there's a familiar what do we have? laugh what? from the Sorry, doorway. What do we have on what did we have for lunch? <laughs> what do you want to have for lunch? Duck. Um, they haven't got any duck, I'm afraid. Goose. I, I like this Cockcroft guy because he's the only constant in the fucking entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll have what I'm having. Why You're there? right. We can rely on this fellow. Even though he's, he's brilliant. I love him. He's a bit pricey, but so um, you're, you're, you're eating lunch, and all of a sudden there's a, a hearty laugh from the door. Oh, oh, oh my friends! It's so wonderful to see you again. Cockcroft, welcome. You look up, and he strides in. He's wearing the most over-decorated. <laughs> red velvet robes that sweep Love him. In, a, in a huge train behind him as he strides in. He's got thigh length black leather boots on um, with gold beading all down the side and this huge pair of emerald earrings hanging from his ears. Um, he's also You're looking resplendent. Oh, thank you. You're looking rather lovely yourself, Ignatius. Yeah, all right. <laughs> So, who's <laughs> buying me a drink? Certainly. He sits down having? next to Ragnar and sort of elbows you and gives you a, a cheeky wink. I'll put my hand on his knee. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a cheeky little wink back. <laughs> what are you having, uh, what are Ragnar, you having? you're not my <laughs> normal type, but there's, uh, I certainly like them spiky. <laughs> So, my friends, what have you got? What exciting things have you got to show me today? An array of artifacts. Well, you, yeah. <coughs> a wand. A wand? Oh, my favourite. I do like handling a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, let me see it. Plop it out. Show it. Show it. <laughs> show it. Here, I'll grab a hold of this. I show him the icicle type Okay, wand. he picks it up and he runs his fingers along it. Mm. <laughs> it's a little small, but uh, perfectly formed. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I've had too much to drink. <laughs> 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 you run with it. <coughs> it's far run too late it. to stop now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, right, so, are you going to show me the colour of your money, handsome? Before I do this for you? Of course. Uh, so, in all, we have four or five items, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, dagger, wand, armour. What else is it? Robes. Blue robes. Robes. Baron's robes. robes. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, Ooh. I'm feeling generous. Should we say 300 gold and a quick... Kiss off the dwarf! Oh, I know. Sounds like a fine idea. I'll give him a big smacker. Okay, he, he, uh, <laughs> he opens his this mouth as you go to kiss him. Never been before. <laughs> oh, God. No. Mmm, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> 200 gold, 200 gold, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's have a look then. He, uh, he runs his hands across the wand. There's a brief flash of light across his eyes. 
Um, oh. Very interesting, Ignatius. This is uh, this is what they you call a wand of winter. Oh. There you go. I've un, uh, Thank you. I've ID'd it for you in your inventory. Don't believe it requires achievement. Oh, it oh, very good. Oh, and you must be attuned to the wand to use it. Does it? Yeah. Well, I've you've still one. you've still got one achievement space, haven't you? I oh, know you've got three. No. Why is it not blocked them out? Uh, should have blocked them you out. Let me check weak. the settings. No, I've got one achievement slot. Um, just say three. Oh yeah, I know why. Um, I know I why. Like Hold it. on, let me let me sort it out. Uh. Right, hold on, mate. This is just going to take me a minute. Sorry. I should have done this before, no I didn't I? Uh, what? <laughs> Ragnar, I could always give you the gloves of missile snaring. Uh, but mate, let's just see what's... what's mm. What do you need to roll on for them? You just have to what, spend the glove. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. I think it's. I think it was Dex, and that's why we gave it to. Yeah, because I've got only got plus two Dex mods. So. Right. Uh, so it was the Staff of Fire you had, wasn't it? Yeah. My was gloves of missile snaring have disappeared. I shouldn't have done. I just there. dropped them back on your inventory. <coughs> oh, is it? Uh, hold on. They're down as leather gloves. Yeah, I need to ID them for you again. <laughs> There so, gloves and missile snaring, the black dragon mask, and yeah. the, the staff of fire. Staff of fire, which I did dr drop. It's down as a quarter staff. Quarter staff. Well spotted. There we go. There you go. So the others are blocked okay. off now. Okay. Let's see what the other items are first. What yeah. else have you got for me, gentlemen? A. A set of armor that we took off a very powerful dragon mage or dragon <coughs> cleric or whatever. Oh, I like these. I've got some boots that will go wonderfully with them. <laughs> well, we'll see. Again, he uh, passes his hands over the armor. There's a brief flash across his eyes. Yes, he's certainly enchanted. Um... Yes, it's magical armor. It's scale mail plus one. Okay, well, I can't wear armor because it ruins my base draconic resilience. Mm -hmm. I've already got scale mail plus one. Oh, cool. Then that's. Uh, Sell it him. That's, that's for you then. Though. Oh, no, I can only use light. Leather, can't you? It's oh, medium yeah, I don't armor. Use medium. Yeah, it's medium yeah. armor. Come on, boys, don't keep me waiting. Oh, this, this, uh, and I'll pull this. We'll trade this, it. We'll trade it with him. Yeah, we Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll pull this pulley dragon uh, bone dagger out my, uh, out my. Uh, oh, okay. And just... uh... Hand it to him. Oh, I say, where did you find this, Mister Took? Hmm. A man of hidden depths. I can see that, young man. Um, yes, this is made from the tooth of a dragon. It's a dragon tooth dagger. Uh, strang tooth dagger, plus one. Uh, it's a plus one dagger that does 1d6 acid damage. A black dragon, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, very nice. If I'm dual wielding, it's better than the short sword plus one. Ditch. What else did we have? What about that silvered uh, Varam's <coughs> robes? Varam's robes. He yeah. looks at those. Um, oh, they're a bit gaudy, aren't they? <laughs> um, uh, th these aren't magical. I don't know why you thought I'd be interested in these. Mm -hmm. That silver talk. 
and Superior Scroll. Yep, might as well do it. And now, now you're just trying to take t advantage of me. No, we can give you more money. There's no issue. <sighs> Fine, what a shame. I thought you were trying to take advantage of me. I'll put, my hand, I'll, I'll put my hand on his knee again and say, if I was going to take advantage of it, you would know it. <laughs> Perhaps I'll repay the favour one day. I must admit, I do like the beard. <laughs> um, sorry, what are you looking at, guys? The Bottom silver the talk with dragon's head and the superior oh, scroll. Okay. Uh, the silver talk is not magical. Okay. And there's a scroll there, is there? Yes, yeah, there is. Superior. Now, this is more like it, gentlemen. Yes. This is a scroll of lightning bolt. Let's say. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll keep, I'll keep that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. your lot for the money, unless you've got a bit more. Well, we'll uh, give you the throne of gold and we'll chuck in the scale mail because you liked it. You said it'd go with a pair of your boots. Really? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Oh, boys, I always have the best time with you. <laughs> this wolf, uh, and I'll say to him, this wolf lo looks after his pack. I don't know what you mean, Merritt, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank it you, is Cotter. always a pleasure. I can't wait till you bring me something else. And next time, Ragnar, you and me, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Shit, you only live once. <laughs> oh, I'll, give I'll, give, I'll, I'll give him a slap on the arse as he gets up and leaves. Don't <laughs> cheeky! <laughs> I've just raised my eyebrows at Ragnar. <laughs> uh, fair enough. <laughs> Ragnar. Yes. We need to talk about these gloves. They are fine gloves. Do you want them? Um, so what, what are they? Do you have to make a deck saving throw? Okay, let me read it out to you. Mm -hmm. um, these gloves uh, meld into your hands. Yeah, dexterity modifier. You use your re reaction to reduce the damage by 1d10 plus your dex modifier. I mean, I, Provide, I've got... uh, provided that you have a free hand. Mm. No, I wield a two handed weapon down, I'm making it down. You, you I need think to we'll free... keep the wand. I think we'll keep the wand in case I need to I'll lose my power. It takes a know. short rest to attune to something. So. Yeah. yeah. Just, you, just, just, keep, uh, just hang on to it all, mate. I've got a spare attunement slot, Mark. So if you want to hand me the gloves so you've got the dagger, do you need to free up a, an attunement slot? I'm just thinking if the wand is worth it because. I've got what so many spell do? slots. It casts spells I've already got. Yeah, yeah but when you're out of spell storm, slots. Ice storm. Oh I'd my keep god, yeah. Looks, mate. It's another line of defense. Yeah. I think you need that wand. Spells. Set but I don't storm. really want to give up. I don't really want to give up the gloves. They've saved oh, me several times. You um, can't soak hits like me. I mean, I get hit by arrows. I think, yeah, but. I, I soak but hits. What's Mark's AC compared to yours? <laughs> Yeah, but, but no, I still hit, anyway, when, when they well. hit me, they do like two, three damage. It, 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 but if you want to use that one instead of the gloves, well, I'll, I've got a spare tumor slot. It's extra damage. But, it, but <clears throat> it, it, it. I'm not bothered. If we get into a situation where we've completely run out of spell slots and we're about to walk into another encounter, yes. we can always do a short rest, I guess. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mid dungeon top up weapon, isn't it? Just to help us with yeah. the uh, final encounter. So I, I, mean, I, I think. Bag it, bag it and tag it. I think you should have it ready. Because <laughs> you want the gloves. <laughs> no, I don't want the gloves. I want I want Mark having when he's run out of spell slots to have the extra spells. Because that wonder I've fire. Got a lot, and I manage my spell slots well. We've not had any. I've never had an issue. Um, mm -hmm. Tactical. Can't you use the wonder, sir? I'm not sure. Weapon, Dave. You're a caster, aren't you? But and we've just something... finished part of a campaign. Surely we should be leveling. <laughs> 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 That's a good point, actually. 
has been a while. It has. Oh, nice! I said that in a yeah. cheeky manner. No, oh I forgot. Um, yeah, oh, whilst you're sitting <laughs> around oh, the uh, the table with Mr. Cockcroft, you do. Uh, <laughs> The little arrow oh, appears next to our portrait. Oh I meant to do it when you got back to Waterdeep and it completely slipped my mind. I do apologise. Oh, no, no worries, mate. Oh, wow. That's nine, awesome. That's awesome. I get no worries, awesome, mate. Level nine. Me. I get awesome. Right, <gasps> just, bear, just bear with me a second, guys, please. I'm trying to sort I'll a few forgot. things out. Level eight cleric and I can get a feat or increase my Tell stats. Nine. Oh. I get another sorcery point. <laughs> I think I get. I think I get. It's either brutal, critical, or. Um, oh my god! I get a fifth level spell. Now I get persistent. I think I get persistent. Oh my god! Right? Not nice. I get my extra four. Yeah, I'm one level behind you because of. <gasps> what am I gonna have? What am I gonna have? <laughs> that dragon do tiger is amazing. Actually, it does. Against enemies of the Cult of the Dragon, the dagger's bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls increases to plus two, and the extra ad extra acid damage increases to plus two d6. It's very nice. I stab him in the back. <laughs> I'm on my fucking armor. Okay, I'm nearly ready. Did you want the Venom Dagger as well to pair with it, Dave? No, because I got the um, silver, silver short sword. Right, who are we doing first? Mared, he's first up. What? I don't know, give me some time, man. This is oh, okay. a big decision. Should we do Ragnar first? Because he tends to be the easier one to do. Yeah, fine. Ragnar, uh, are you taking the average hit points or are you taking the. Uh, do you want to roll? I'll take the average again, please, now. Right. Okay. This is cleric. I'll always take the average, mate. Always. Barbarian. Right. Let me get me book out. It's easier. Well, I've got a divine domain feature and shit like that. Oh so gosh. level nine, your proficiency <laughs> goes up to plus four. You get brutal critical, <laughs> and you get plus three rage damage instead of plus two. Wow. Well, okay. So I'm going to drop that on you. You've broken the hundred hit point barrier. Oh my gosh! Proficiency is at plus four. Let me check your rage damage. Uh, oh yeah, well my to hit's gone up. So you're, yeah, I need to adjust your rage damage because I can I can add D eight poison in my attacks on my next level. That needs to change. How do I change that? Smash it! Oh, there we go. The uh, no. Oh, I need to go into preparation mode. That'll be why. No. Why can't I edit rage? What the hell? Why can't I add, edit your rage, Rich? That's really annoying. Um. Ah, there it is. Okay, found it. Okay, so yeah, you're doing extra rage damage. Nice. Right, brutal critical. What's that do? Wrong. One additional weapon damage die when determining the extra damage for a critical hit. <laughs> nice! Uh, choppy choppy! Crucial critical. There we go. Let's <coughs> take a level of range. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just bear with me a sec, please, guys. Favourite enemy, Natural Explorer. Oh, cool, it's just like ice. Let's have a little Natural Explorer on this. Oh, cool, I've got plus four to hit now with my great weapon attack. Plus nine with the uh, standard attack. Okay. 
Uh, okay. So I need to go to. I'm just looking how to automate your brutal critical. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Actions. Weapons. Extra critical dice on melee. Is it melee only or is it melee and ranged? With a melee attack. So it's one extra dice. There you go. Thank you. No choices to make. Take it. Just straight up there. Okay, that's it. Ragnar's done. Cool. Are you ready, Ignatius? Or Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing for your hit points? Have you decided? Uh, yeah, I'll take the average. <laughs> Nobody's yet tempted. Okay, so Sorcerer. I I'm just check Sorcerer level 8. <clears throat> oh, I get 9 hit dice now to use on rests. Mm. Okay, so your proficiency goes up, you get an extra sorcery point. Yep. And you can learn an extra spell, which can be 5th level or lower. 5th level Cone of Cold. Okay, hold on. <gasps> Sorcerer Jesus. 9. Uh, get an extra sorcery point. So that's Font of Magic, isn't it? So I need to... Font of Magic, you get 9 of them now. And you're keeping all your other spells the same, are you? Yeah. So, and your fifth level is what, sorry? Um, Cone of Cold. I think you'll find Cone of Cold is a third level spell for you. It was in, I put it in your, uh... Oh, God. Ignatius's special <clears throat> thing. Ignatius's special thing. Um, well, when you switched. Ignatius's revelation. There you go, I'll share it with you again. Um, uh, oh, yeah, Cone of Cold is now a third level spell for you. Okay. What's the most kick ass cold spell that a level 5 can get? Spell. I'm gonna hang on that one second. Sorry, sixty foot cone. Cone, cone. Oh, oh there's cone of cold right here. Oh, what the hell's teleportation? I'm gonna through? swap ice bolt out for cone of cold then. Okay. Oh no no no! I'm gonna have an. Oh, the level five spells aren't that great. I think I might have an extra level third spell instead. <clears throat> what, what, what you got choices of fifth level, mate? Mm, there's some Cold nice ones. Quite nice. Cloud kills oh, nice. Oh, Dominate cloud person. Kill, animate objects. Cloud monster. kill. Cloud of cold creation. A lot of them are only for one minute though, which is. Hold monster. Yeah. Insect plague. Let's have a look at insect plague. Forty ten. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think hold monster might be useful where there's only been three of us now because I'm not going to be able to hold down. A lot of monsters, and I think whole mm. monster might be quite good. But you, I suppose you do tend to nuke most of the things that are in the room anyway. <laughs> I mean, it, at some Down point you could get teleportation circle. You could build a teleportation circle in your in Ulfstar Manor, and then when you cast your spell, you could teleport back to it. Everything's nice. Yeah, that might be a, a bit late oh, for that. Oh, now, telekinesis. Isn't it? Wall of Stones, pretty nice. It's a very strategic spell. <gasps> you could, with that the problem is you, the wall of stone. It's only ten by ten foot or ten by twenty foot. With that telekinesis, you can move a huge or smaller creature up to thirty feet. That's quite or, nice. Or object chest that we can't get to. Um... <laughs> Just pick a dragon and move him thirty feet or something into a volcano. But yeah, they're all. Yeah, they're quite strange, aren't they? Or What's you could take an mean? extra third level spell, mate. It's, it's up to you. Aye. It, it would be nice to have Cone of Cold along, which I would get at level 5 anyway, mm -hmm. normally. So it would be, it'd be nice yeah, to have an extra... 
extra damage. Oh, uh, <coughs> how many, let me just double check how many third level spells will I get at ninth. Yeah, I still stay with three third level spells though. But I get one fifth level spell. I could cast it at fifth level, you see. Mm hmm. Third level spell, but cast it at fifth yeah. level. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I'll get Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold, Ignatius three. version. <laughs> yeah. Ignatius is a revelation. Okay. And I can cast it at fifth level if need be, so that'll be an extra 2d8. So that'll be 10d8 damage if I cast it at fifth level. I think I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's you done, I think, isn't it? It is. Oh, ninth level sorcerer. Oh my. <laughs> Mered, you're taking the average, I take it, on the hit points. I'm going to. Sorry, sorry I've got it. I'm really desperate for the league. Going that's right. Okay. I'm going to take. Bump my cleric up to eight, take the average. Okay. Cleric, from seventh to eighth, you get an ability score improvement. I know, I need to. I need to. Oh, fuck, I need to look or up a feet. feet, man. Oh, God. Destroy Undead. Mm hmm. And a feature. <coughs> and an extra fourth level spell. I'm going to do. Okay. Drop. Let me move that on first. Uh, let me see if I can. Right, so let's do I'm the other destroy undead you get first. Mm -hmm. uh, Where do why you... is that not on there? I haven't had a look at feet. Uh, I can hit my decks up to. I can make up my, my con up to 18, or my decks up to 20. Yeah. Oh, destroy undead. There you go. Yes, yeah, so you got destroy undead. Uh, yep. A divine domain feature. Which domain? You were trickster, weren't you? Yep. That's uh, the extra D8 poison. Is it D8 poison damage on my weapon attacks? Um, uh, which one do you get at level? Eight. Yeah, it's the poison. Badang. Yes, the ability to infuse your strikes with poison. In each of your turns, when you hit a creature with a weapon, you can cause the attack to deal an extra 1d8 poison damage. Mm hmm. That doesn't cost you anything, does it? Nope. So you're going to have to add a D8 to all my fucking <laughs> That's okay, I can do that. Uh -huh. um, so, it's it's melee attacks, is it? No, just weapon attack. Okay. So, dagger. Add an extra type. Heavy, heavy. So it's what, 1D8, is it? Yeah, D8. Two. 1D8. Poison. Oh, feet, Okay. It's going to take me a minute to set this up anyway mm. on all your weapons. Dragon Tooth Dagger. So nice, yeah. 2d6 plus a d8. You can only can you do that? How many times a day does that dagger do that? A, is it any limit on there it? There isn't a limit, no. Nice. Infuse with the black dragon. I'm gonna have to start playing hardball. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rip ya! I I haven't thrown any of my weapons away. Very sorry about that. <laughs> really... Yeah, I'd notice that. <laughs> so you're gonna do it to all of them. Sorry, Giant man. fucking sword sword plus one, <laughs> and silvered short sword plus one. How many weapons are you carrying around? With you? I know. I haven't, I haven't thrown any of them away. You can never, have, never have too many weapons. 
Okay, done. <laughs> so, how come I don't get plus nine on my spiked armor and all my other weapons? Hold on, mate. Uh, from what? <laughs> plus nine from what? Plus nine on my great axe. Oh, because it's a plus one, isn't it? Yeah. 104 hit points, nice. <laughs> I moved up eight. My spiked armor's plus one, though, so I thought I would get plus nine on that because it's still the same attack. Uh, Spike's armor, it's already got a plus one on there. Oh, mate, it's a um, Yeah, but my proficiency bonus has just gone up. So you mean to hit? Yeah. Should calculate it automatically. Um, plus, plus four. No, it's plus eight. Should. It's strength plus f is plus four, and your proficiency is plus four. But what? My great axe is the same though. Strength plus four. Yeah, strength plus. That's right. And your great axe is plus oh, nine. Oh yeah, sorry. It was plus one to damage, not plus yeah. one to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My bad. <coughs> So I think, uh, Dave, we're just waiting for your. Sp do you know what spell you want? Yeah, I'll I can do drop that. Drop and drag that. What, I'll you, drop what are you having? Drag. I'm going to drop and drag. There we go. I've done it. Control water. Oh, okay. Interesting spell. Yeah. <laughs> because we're going into the sea of ice. <laughs> Probably not a bad idea. Yeah. So it's just. Do you want your ability score improvements or do you want a feat? I don't know. There's so many feats. And um, plus. Are there any, are there's only a gnomish feat in the adventurer's guide. Right, so, I'm toying with Dungeon Delver to help me deal with traps the most. Mm -hmm. uh, or Mobile, which increases my speed by 10 feet. Uh, and whenever I make a melee attack against a creature, I don't provoke opportunity attacks when I run away from it. So I can, like, someone's face to face with me, I can hit it with my sword and then run away without provoking an opportunity attack. Or. Warcaster, which is I have advantage on constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. Plus, if a monster does an op. Uh, I forget. Uh, opportunity attack on a monster, I can cast a spell instead. Which is so fucking good. Have you got dual wield? Mm, I've never really gone into. To be honest, I think that dagger will do enough damage with a sneak attack. <clears> anyway, I've anything. never really. I'm, I'm not really doing melee. I'm yeah. always. So I don't think dual wield's really the thing. I'm just going to <laughs> for a quick. Uh... Quick ablution, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, man, take time. <laughs> you know, you could, if you don't, if you're not doing dual wield, you know, you could carry a shield and increase your armor class. Nah. I'm so glad I thought of that. The whole thing Sorry. is about not, not getting attacked well, in the first there's place. There's an ability with shields that auto you automatically pass your deck saving through if uh, projectiles, like magic projectiles or whatever. I've got eight. You. I've got 18 decks and proficiency and proficiency on decks. I've got plus eight mm. on my decks, so so that's all right. Oh, it's just a warcaster helps me maintain concentration, which is really good. Again, if you're not in melee, you're not going to get no. The whole broke. thing is not to be in melee. The only, I can increase my deck from 18 to 20, but that's only an extra plus one on attack rolls. I don't think and I all your do checks that. and saves. Um, doesn't doesn't extra wisdom though increase the chances for people to my, fail spells? My, that you can my wisdom is already max at twenty. It is. All oh, right. Okay. Mm. Um, twenty isn't the max, but you can't go above it with a feat. But you can go above. You can it go with above it with other things. So we can go above it with an ability increase then. Not, 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 no, uh, no, you can't. Sorry. Uh, okay. Items, is it? Uh, items, certain spells, things like that. It's just, it's like that mobile where it increases my speed by ten. So instead of twenty-five, it goes to thirty-five, which is faster than all the humans, and I can hit someone with a sword and then run away. It's very nice. 
but Warcaster. I think it's mobile or Warcaster. <sighs> 20, 20 dex affects all your conventional attacks, doesn't it? Like Yeah, puts it up by one. Finesse attacks. And any deck saves and checks. I do like Warcaster though. Doesn't it put oh yeah, it puts your armor class up as well, doesn't it? If you go as well. Yeah, it puts your armor class up another one. Mm. <coughs> but Warcaster I get advantage on concentration spells. Uh, on advantage to maintain my concentration on a spell. Uh. Oh god, Neil. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh, it's mobile or Warcaster, I think. Uh. Is this a feat you're deciding on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've already got lucky, haven't you? Yeah, any one gets rerolled immediately. It's, it's different from the lucky feat, but... Where are the feats? Where do we see the feats? Uh, in classes? Bot no, click bottom right library and then it should be feats. Um. So what is it? The um, the dungeon delve was very nice, but we're not about to head. Dungeon delve helps me deal with traps really well. Uh, getting resistance to damage dealt by traps. Uh, defensive duelist is quite good. When you're wielding a finesse weapon, uh, with which you're proficient, and another creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use uh, your reaction to add your proficiency bonus to your AC for th that attack, potentially causing it to miss. Mm. <coughs> Very rarely take my swords out. Crossbow expert. What's that? Uh, you ignore the loading qu uh, quality of crossbows for which you are proficient being mm. five feet of a hostile creature does compose yeah. and using attack action. It's that mobile is very handy because I'm so slow. Mobile or warcaster. Mobile is very nice. Because mm. you just take my Take my sword out, twat it, and then run 25 feet. No, run 35 feet away. And if it hasn't got reach, you can't catch up with me. But if he's got a spell, we can just kill me. <laughs> but war sure, quite good. What's that? Increase your constitution score by one to a maximum of 20. When you roll a hit dice to regain hit points, the minimum number of hit points you regain from oh, no. All my stats are on. The stats of matter are on even, so if I plus one, I won't get any benefit and it'll be a bit of a waste of a feat. I think I'm going to. It's either Warcaster or Mobile. So many times that, that 25 foot move has been really bad. Uh, what, how many more spells are on? Uh, blink is a concentration. No, it's not. Blink isn't a concentration. No, I don't. I think I might be tempted to go mobile. Okay. Yep, yeah, mobile. 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 Fuck it. Okay, and that ups your movement to what? 35. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Uh, mm. Speed 35. Yeah, it's all automatically adjusted it. Yeah. You found that quite restricting at several times during mm -hmm. the yeah. adventures, your okay. movement limitation. That'll be really helpful for you. So, after a, a very entertaining lunch with Brett Cockcroft, you are feeling remarkably renewed, everybody. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. Sharpshooter is another good one. Down to the... Uh... Head back down to the docks? Down to the docks, I think. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, Captain LaRooster is uh, is waiting for you still. Captain, we're going to need to uh, head up to some form of civilization up there. We need information. Um, we're trying ah. to find a, a huge iceberg that is uh, flat in the middle like a plain, but surrounded by high peaks. And for that, we're going to need some form of civilization to find out information on where to go. I don't know if there is any civilization up there other than the ice hunters. Oh, that'd be a good place to start. Then we need to they, go up there and start looking. We have no central city there, are nomadic people, but we can see if we can find them. Well, we can, we can wait to start. We can do that, and in the meantime, we can see if we can find the uh, the huge iceberg. Oh, please board the ship, and when you're ready, we can leave. Um, I board the ship. How are our how are our rations looking up, boys? Have we got enough food to see us through? Uh... What, Do you uh, have rations on board, Lurutha? Uh, I have a rations for the crew. What's in our party sheet for rations? I um, had a bit there. You've got 40. 40 rations. Yeah, but if you're right, it's at over That'll 10. Yeah, I've got some. Can yeah, always yeah. kill a seal. Yeah, he... Yeah, that's good. Okay. Alright, Captain. Let us go. So we're ready to sail. Take us to the uh, the okay, region where yeah. these hunters are. I'll be taking my winter furs. Okay. Uh, you should have a map of the frost sk skimmer coming through. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Evil. Um, they lower the sail. A few of the oarsmen start heaving on it, and you head out of Waterdeep Harbour, soon leaving the huge mountain behind. Uh, the journey on board Frost Skimmer proceeds well, and uh, so, and, oh, hold on, sorry, 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 oh. and without oh. incident. <laughs> <laughs> um, you make good pace, and strong winds send you rapidly on your way north up the coast. On your fifth day out of harbour, however, there are signs that things may change for the worse. The skies on the horizon darken, and the crew begin to mutter amongst themselves. A few hours later, and it becomes apparent why they have started to appear nervous. A huge storm can now be seen across the sky directly in your path. An hour later, and the rain starts, heavy, persistent, and bone-chillingly cold. Thunder rocks the sky, and lightning illuminates the now darkened deck. That's, uh... The waves <laughs> grow, and the boat begins to lurch drastically with every swell. Captain LaRooster begins barking orders, then turns to you. You'd best tie yourselves to something, this is gonna get rough. Okay, I will, I will do that. Tie myself to the Can yeah. everybody make a dexterity check, please? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Splash Come on. <laughs> okay, for Ignatius and Ragnar, the ship is now difficult to rain. Which means okay. your movement is effectively halved. The boat mm -hmm. continues to rock, it rides up a swell at an impossible angle, tips at the top of the swell and then dives down the other side. There's a sudden shout, MAN OVERBOARD! One of the sailors topples into the ocean. That's a bummer. Grab him, Ignatius! Can you levitate him out, mate? Yeah, I was just about to say. Uh, yes. We're moving fast. You can do it if you're quick, and you make I'll, I'll a uh, make a dexterity check. Uh, unfortunately, the rocking of the boat means that you can't, and the man is rapidly disappearing from view. <laughs> you can't get a bead on him. Can I shoot a rope to him? Uh, you can try chucking a rope, yeah. Uh, can you make a dexterity check? 
Come on. Yes. Okay, you slip and slide across the wet deck, pick up a rope and chuck it out towards the guy. Make a strength check, please. Mm, okay, he manages to catch hold of the rope and you start heaving him back in. As you do so, there's another shout. The rooster has fallen, he's sliding down the deck. The helm is loose! The helm is loose! What, what does that mean? The steering on the ship. The steer board. Can I make my way over to the steering? Yeah, uh, you can. Can you uh, make a wisdom check, please? I'll type myself to the mast. I can't fucking <laughs> Oh! oh. <coughs> okay. Uh, yes, you managed to uh, you managed to secure the helm, fighting against the wind as the wheel rocks in your hands. Long John Silver. <laughs> but, but. Okay, Ragnar, you've managed to drag this guy heaving onto the deck. As you do, another sailor shouts, "The sail needs reefing! It's come loose!" All the men are on the oars, heaving as they as much as they can to try and steer the ship, so that it doesn't get side onto the waves. I'll give it a whirl. Strong, so. Okay, make a dexterity check. See if you can catch the loose rope that's dangling from the sail. Yeah. <coughs> yes, you do. You manage to catch the rope. You pull it across, hand it to one of the sailors, and they start tying it to. Uh, to uh, one of the rods uh, along the side of the ship. You look down and you see that the ship is now taking on water. Oh! Somebody get the bilge pump! I'll untie myself and head down. Okay, can I have a dexterity check? Right. Mered. Got the best dex is tied to the mast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you get to the bilge pump. It's taller than you are, Mary. So let's have a strength check. A strength check? Hello. Okay, yes, you managed to start pumping the bilge pump. Suddenly, a huge crate from the north, from the, uh, the top of the ship breaks the ropes around it and starts sliding down the deck towards Ragnar and Mered. Uh, dexterity checks, both of you, please. Ragnar, grab that fucking crate. Don't know why I got advantage. Uh, don't know. Yeah. Have you got advantage ticks? No. Okay. Oh, no. Snatch the advantage. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, you both managed to avoid the crate. It smashes into the uh, the rim of the deck behind you, and bits of wood go flying into the sea. Shit. You rise up another uh, huge wave. The ship seems to perch precariously on the top for a moment before slamming back down the other side. Everybody make another dexterity check, please. Oh, Ragnar's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar, you go slipping and sliding across the deck. You can make an athletics check to try and grab onto the rail as a sudden heave from the back of the boat as it tips down the the wave throws you up in the air. What? What? I have to make the roll with my without fucking twenty. What that? F athletics. Yes. Ooh. Oh, right! The boat throws Ragnar in the air. He flies over and lands down in the cold water. Man overboard! I need you to make a constitution check as the cold, icy cold water suddenly hits you. Ooh, he's got his ring of protection from ice. Okay, you take a deep breath, but the boat's starting to slide out of view. Uh, I've got a good, is there any ropes nearby I can throw to Ragnar? Uh, there is. You can run up to the edge and throw a rope. I need you to make a dexterity check, please. I'm going to try and make a and levitate if I can. Why did I get thrown overboard? Okay, you could... You could uh, not on your dex check, you didn't. You rolled an 8. Yeah. Uh, no, no, you, you rolled, rolled a, a 9. 20. You rolled, rolled a 20, 20 on his dex. Oh, it was Ignatius! Two. Sorry, mate. It was Ignatius rolled a 9. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Ignatius! Well <laughs> 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 okay, in Sorry, which case I'll run, up, I'll run up to that end of the okay. boat. 
try and grab a rope. Uh, can you make a constitution check, please, Ignatius? As the icy cold water hits you. <laughs> oh, God. It's nothing for the son of a white dragon. Okay. Uh, and did you make... Yes, you, a rope yeah. comes and lands near you. You reach out to try and grab it. You sink down under the water. You pull up again. Luckily, have you got your helmet on? Would, would you have it on? Yeah, I've got it on. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're able to breathe under the water. You managed to grab the rope. Mary, can you make a strength check, please? Uh, sorry, Mark. Oh no, wrong. Ignore that. I make, I make a strength check. No, uh, Merit. <laughs> I failed. Mered can't hold you back in. You're just dangling off the end of this rope, drifting back. Can I back. try and grab hold of the oars? Uh, you can make uh, an athletics check. I'll come and help Mered with the rope. <laughs> okay, no, you're sliding past Mered. You can make one more dex check with advantage. Sorry, athletics check with advantage. Okay. Sorry, no. Yeah. Strength check with advantage. Okay. To hold the rope in. <laughs> oh no, the rope starts to slide through your hands. It's wet and it's oh. slippy. Ignatius is disappearing behind the boat quickly. Uh, 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 I'll grab a rope. I'll go grab a rope and chop it over. Make a dex check, see if you can run down the deck. Go on, seat very legs to the wharf. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you manage to slide rather than run down the deck. But you manage to you collide with the rim of the deck at the far end around the balustrade, stop yourself flowing in. I'm you find a rope. I'm shouting at Larista to grab onto this rope that I've got that Ignatius is holding and help me heave him back in. Okay, you can make one more check, then the rope's gonna run out. You can have advantage, Mered. Strength check. <laughs> Sorry. The rope suddenly disappears out of your hands and disappears over the edge of the ship and into the water. Ragnar, you can throw a rope. Make a dex check. <laughs> <laughs> What's, are you there, Ignatius? I'm here. <laughs> okay, you're starting to disappear behind the boat. Turn the okay. boat around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna levitate myself. Okay. <laughs> You levitate yourself up out of the water, but the boat is rapidly disappearing away from you. Hang on, let me mark off it. How there long does levitate last? Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you dimension door back onto the boat? Yeah, I can do. I'm assuming you're talking through the pins. Oh, yeah. Perhaps. Oh, the, rope, the, the ship is now rapidly disappearing into the distance. It's dark. You see Can the I throw my rope to Ragnar? You're too far away now, mate. Back oars, back oars. I'm sure the. Uh... You're not even sure where the boat is. There's a flash of lightning. It illuminates it, going up a side of another wave. I'm going to oh, strike. God, I can't use dimension door then. I'm, I'm going to strike. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light a you torch. You can. Start waving a torch. Oh, I'll can wait. I? Hmm? Waving a torch. All right then. I'll use Dimension Door. You don't have to be able to see, remember with Dimension Door, you don't have to be able to see where you're going. Yeah, but if it's a moving target, it's going to be a bit of a... It Just is. Just give it straight to the mass. Um, I, I, try and wait, I, try and, I try and wait until it's illuminated and silhouetted again, and then I'll cast it. Okay. Um, make an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, that's enough. You needed a 10. Okay, you suddenly appear in the middle of the deck. Make a dex check as you fall to the ground on your knees, coughing up water. Oh, <laughs> you start to slide down the back of the boat. I'm going to grapple him. Okay. <laughs> I need to make it a hit roll, don't I? Um, a grapple is a strength check. Is um, it but yeah, you hit. yeah you got make it a hit roll. Okay, you hit, you swing your axe off. Sw you swing your axe down and pin Ignatius's robe to the deck of the <laughs> ship, just as his legs are go flying off the back of the boat. As the ship That's comes right over now. and careens down the next wave, things start to die down and the sky starts to lighten ahead. <sighs> that was.
was impossible. <laughs> Without Dimension Door, you'd have been lost forever. <laughs> yep. Mm. Okay. Best spell in the game. I'd have been wishing I'd have got my teleportation circle then. As the sky clears, you notice that you're moving into an area where the the sea starts to settle down. The clouds are still stormy overhead, but the sea is covered with thin plates of ice. Oh, very cool. Ragnar, I'm kind of feeling at home on this ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Let's see this is I'm... excellent. You dust yourself off, repair some of the broken ship, retie the sails up. And you carry on. Um, five. Okay. After um, I need to add some time onto this, don't I? Hold on. Um, okay. Uh, the light starts to filter through the clouds. Um, it's mid-afternoon. And uh, off in the distance, one of the party shouts on the boat and points. You can see on one of the ice floats floating in the water um, some men. They are uh, wearing heavy furs um, and they are running across the surface of the ice flow pursuing some seals. Ah. Ah. First so yes. I suggest we approach them, and maybe we could get some directions, or ask them for knowledge of the area. We could ask them for the location of the iceberg, yes. I mean, surely uh, anybody from this area would know. <clears throat> ah, aye. Ahoy there! Okay, um, you talk to the captain, he gives the orders out, and the ship slowly starts to turn towards the ice flow that the ice hunters are on. A couple of them have stopped and are watching you approach, and uh, talking to each other. I'll move to the bow. Steady, Ragnar. <laughs> okay, they, they raise the sail. They start heaving the, the oars in the opposite direction. The ship starts to flow as you draw alongside the ice flow. Hey, all! They're standing there. They're, they're, each of them is holding um, uh, a huge harpoon, um, like a pike with a, um, a barbed tip. Come on, man. Okay, I'll jump. I'll jump from the ship and thud down on the ice. Uh, weapon not drawn. Okay. They both stand there, eyeing you warily, and raise their point their harpoons at you, and they bark something at you that you don't understand the language. Um. Okay, I'll just hold my hands up and like gesture that I don't understand them. Do you speak common? They talk. They they speak between each other and shout something else to you. But again, you don't know what it is. Captain, do you do you, do you know their language? We have a translator on board who speaks Uluic. Ah, if we could borrow him. One of he's, someone's one of the men Uluic. over. Yeah, who leans over the bow of the ship. What do you want us to say? Um, well, uh, we are not, we mean them no hostility, um, we are on a quest to find, um, we are looking for an iceberg, a flat plateaued iceberg with, what was it, surrounding walls? Surrounded by high peaks. Yeah, surrounded the by biggest, high peaks. The biggest iceberg you've ever seen. Okay, he shouts out um, something in a strange guttural language that you've never heard before. The two men on the ice floe look at each other and then shout something back. Translator shouts something back to them. And then he looks at you. They say you are searching for Oya Vigaton. That's the dragon, isn't it? Do they know where it is? Oh. Oya Vigaton is the berg. Yeah, I'll nod to him. He shouts something back to them. And they turn. They 
It is two days travel from here, to the east. Thank them. Yeah, ask them if they need anything for that. Is, is, is there anything... There's a, a bit more communication between them. They want us to leave. Oh, not. We've They're scared not off the seals. Sounds, sounds, sounds fair. I'll nod and return to the boat. Okay. A rope comes over the side, you're hauled back onto the boat. I guess we're heading east then. Yes, east, Captain, please. Okay. You travel on um, through the sea, carefully through the moving flows of ice on either side. The sky begins to go dark and then is suddenly lit up by a green light that shifts across the skies. Um, the captain looks at you. It's getting a bit dark to navigate. Do we sleep on the boat or on one of the flows? The I boat would be safer, but it'll be much I colder. I would agree. The, the boat. Oh, pull the pull the boat no. pull the boat up no, beside the ice. Higher. We'll take watches. It'd have been funny if the guy overboard with the lost was the translator, wouldn't it? <laughs> <coughs> um, okay. Oh yeah. Well, we're not scared of fuck all. So we'll. Um, what, 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 what do you reckon, guys? Do you want to make a camp, get warm, get a fire going? Let's yeah, pull the boat. Pull the boat up to the ice and yep. then make camp on the boat. Okay, the sailors heave um, ropes onto the ice which have huge hooks on the end which they dig into the ice and then tie off onto the boat. Um, it's getting really cold. You should put yeah, on I'm some gonna... of the uh, the cold weather gear we bought. Ah, yeah, we got, got anything, got anything for our size? Anything what, sorry? What, for our size? I put on we the might need a little adjustment. Ah. Well, extra material, extra warmth. I'll take an empty crate that's obviously been used for the supplies, you know, empty, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll build a fire on the... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> build a fire on the ice and melt through to the sea. Yeah, it's, it's, a little thick, it's a little thicker than that. It's like a lot. <laughs> okay. Just to just to dry out those that got wet, basically. The green lance con lights continue to dance across the sky throughout the night. Um, the stars are uh, incredibly clear out here. Oh, I must admit, it's a it's beautiful totally place. Out. Totally out of my element here. This place is dangerous. I'm perfectly within mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, the night passes peacefully, though it is dreadfully Ooh. cold. You're all freezing. Even the fire doesn't seem to penetrate. Um, Ignatius, you're a little more comfortable. You you come from the north and from the frozen lands and the areas around about them. Um, but it's still Bloody. bitterly cold. Bloody hate it. I'm from the mountains. I'm sturdy. I only got a ring of protection from cold. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> but I haven't. It doesn't stop you shivering. Walking <laughs> around in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next day, the light dawns very early. Um... <sighs> Did any of you get a decent night's sleep? It's too bloody cold. Oh, I slept quite fitfully. It is cold, though. You're right. The crew are already up and about, starting to get the ship ready to carry on on the journey. All right, let's make way. I hope there's a tavern round here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the the ship sets off again. The uh, whilst incredibly beautiful at first, the clear sky, <sighs> the flat water. The ice flows on either side. After another half a day of travelling, they be, it all begins to get a little bit monotonous. Um, but around midday, as you're sh handing out rations and sharing some food with the crew, there's a sudden shout. Iceberg ahoy! He screams <clears throat> into the wind, pointing to the northeast. And sure enough, a huge berg hoves into view between the floating flows. A flattened expanse at one end, rising to a jagged peak at the other. Oh. 
And we shall leave it there for tonight, I think. 